You're right. I had no audio. Holy crap. I hit the freaking mute button. So there you go. Man. How's it going, guys? You can hear me now. You can hear me. I know. I muted myself. See what I did? I muted myself. It's okay. We're good now. We're good. We're good. We're good, guys. You can hear me now, right? You hear me? We're good? Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, we're good. We're good. All right. Well, as I was saying before, um, before I realized I was muted, I swear, sometimes, yeah, I got to watch grabbing this thing because if I grab it right here, I just hit the mute button real quick. So we're good. We're good, man. We're good. Ah, why am I Mr. Horny all of a sudden there, Nate? I don't know. It's weird. You can hear me now, right, Belinda? We're good. We're good. We're good. Hey, I know. Hey, hey don't be shaking your head, Jose. You know you're nervous about the Giants. It's okay. You got to repeat everything. I know. I got to repeat. Well, basically what I was saying was I'm not watching the Giants game tonight as I usually am when I start when I start the stream because apparently something happened with some COVIDness. What the hell? My neon light behind my TV. What the? Hold on a sec. Uh-oh. Shit. Nah, I like did something. Okay. Never mind. It's no big deal. <laughs> Jeez. Something I got to fix later. Anyways, but um, yeah, apparently in the Giants organization, they um, somebody tested positive for COVID. So the next two games are postponed, which sucks. Yeah, I know. I'm, apparently, I don't know why I'm Mr. Horny. That's that's Jose 100%. I don't know why I got deemed that. Thank you. Thank you, guys. What's going on, man? Doggy? 10 doggy? What's going on? COVIDness. Yes, that's what, ha what happened. I don't know what, what's going on. No, I'm not muted again. Shut up. Um, can we talk the entire vodka stream about how fucking amazing the Chiefs are? Chiefs, they look pretty good. What's going on, Eddie? Thank you, sir. Got my Jaws shirt on. Found it at Kohl's. And uh, cheers, guys. Welcome to um, welcome to um, Friday. Welcome to the vodka stream. Made it through another week. Another week. I mean, I'm telling you, this week was uh, today. Today, I was like mentally kind of drained. Ah, so I need this. Definitely need this. But uh, yeah, definitely needed this 100%. But uh, yeah, I got to fix something. Something, you know what? Those like those uh, LED strips. I tell you what, sometimes they're a little uh, they're a little weird. They're a little weird when you put them on like the back of stuff, you know, unless you actually because I was trying to like do my own thing, you know, because you can actually cut it and make it certain lengths and add your own connectors. Apparently something happened where it went from blue to green. So maybe uh, that's a sign that says, um, I don't know, the Green Lantern's coming. Maybe, uh, you know, I mean, when we had that live stream on the real motion, I mean, we were wondering if Ryan was going to show up. Maybe he'll show up tonight. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Jedi Milf? Hey, good morning. Good morning, MX. How's it going? Ah, uh, looks like uh, I'll be up at three in the morning. Oh, it's one thirty right there. Of course, you're in that Eastern time. It happens. Yes. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Uh, what's going on? We need that. I know we definitely need that Godzilla versus Kong trailer. I don't know when it's going to show up. Uh, so glad the Chiefs didn't kneel. <laughs> they didn't kneel. No. It's good. I mean, but of course, you know, they, they still did their thing, which is fine. It's whatever. It doesn't really bother me that much. I know some people are getting bothered. Um, I, I still find it weird that why, why all of a sudden this year is like, why all of a sudden this year an election year is it all being taken seriously? Yeah, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. All of a sudden every sport is like doing hmm interesting stuff. But um, yeah. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Scott's double fisting. Watch out. When he shows up, God knows what's going to happen. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm watching right now, Jose. I'm watching the game right now. It's game seven, so do or die. Is Dr. Manhattan with you? No, not. Yeah, I mean, I got the blue going on right here. Yeah, I got Dr. Manhattan. He's servicing me underneath. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> got that going for me at least. Yeah. We got Garza here, SJW NFL. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's all good and funny. Hey, I got a new pop, guys. Got a new pop. Oh, back to school. Back to school to prove to dad that I'm not a fool. I got my lunch packed up, my boots tied tight. I hope I don't get in a fight. Oh, back to school. That's right. I got a, I found a Billy Madison pop at Target. I was like, yep, 
that's going to happen. Getting that right now. So there you go. Added a little pop to my collection right there. Love it. Absolutely love it. So I know I think, you know, when it comes to uh, Adam Sandler movies, I'd probably say Happy Gilmore is probably my favorite, you know, but, you know, I like Billy Madison, too, of course. Uh, specifically like that. Yeah. You need that pop. Get that pop. Get that pop, motherfucker. Yeah. Get that pop. And, uh, yeah, so uh, hopefully uh, we'll have a good show. No special guests, no featured guests tonight, sadly, but hopefully next week. Uh, I'm try I was trying to rearrange. Uh, I was trying to arrange, uh, of course, a good guest tonight, but um, didn't happen. Had to cancel. Had to cancel, so that's fine. I think we'll just be talking a little bit about, you know, of course, we got DC Fandom 2 that is happening tomorrow which is not as exciting as it was last month, of course. Yeah, because all the Hall of Heroes stuff's not happening. It's not the same. But hopefully, hopefully, we can have some uh, some good surprises that are happening tomorrow, at least something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm still curious on Mr. Ballcap. <laughs> What's going to happen with that guy? <laughs> ah, ah. But uh, anyways, guys, uh, make sure you uh, check out all the links. Follow me on the social media stuff. You know what? You want to join the Patreon? You can join the Patreon. Do that stuff if you want to do that. That's perfectly cool. Help out the pirate ship. Nothing wrong with that. And then, of course, uh, if you want to get yourself a Film Junkie uh, t-shirt, go right ahead. Nope, that's not right. Film Junkie t-shirt, I don't have that page up right now. So uh, go ahead, and uh, they're provided down below. So uh, you just garza Jody's titties. Is that what happened? Tenant spoiler stream. Oh yeah. I don't know. I don't think we're going to be doing that tonight because I don't think anybody, I don't think everybody's seen tenant. I know we have to, we were, we did a schedule, like a specific one, a specific, um, live stream. Cause I don't think, uh, yeah. I mean, I know Scott's seen it. I know Garza's seen it and, uh, Mr. Edwards has seen it as well. But I think that's pretty much it when it comes to the normal panel. I'm not, I don't think Cole Bird's seen or anything like that. Hey, Mr. Shuck King, what's going on, man? How's uh, how them car tricks going? Uh, I envy you, man. I, I, there's just something about car tricks that are so, so baffling and so awesome. Every time I watch, uh, it's like street magic, especially, you know, when you're not, you're not on a set, you're not, you know, in an element or anything like that. When I see street ma street magic, you know, that has to do with card tricks and some pretty crazy stuff like your David Blaine's and your uh, Chris Angels. Is Chris Angel even still a thing? <laughs> or is he still like, uh, is he still doing his thing in Las Vegas, right? Uh, well, yeah, Wong saw it. Well, there you go. Wong has seen it. So Val Kimmer is on Uverse. Remember to, the, okay, yeah, I'll definitely check that out. Um, because everything's kind of just on demand, right? Everything's just on demand tomorrow. So, you know, it's not going to be like the, the night, like last time where it's just like, we just sit there and wait for the next thing to show up. Why is Marilyn Manson trending right now? I got to see this since Marilyn Manson released an album today. Oh, okay. Oh, he released a new album today. And then of course, uh, people are still going like, Hey, remember what happened at Evan Rachel Wood? Yeah. Uh, apparently he was a big douchebag. <laughs> Surprising. Marilyn Manson wasn't a stand up boyfriend or whatever. Jeez. Shocking. <laughs> ah, let's go and get, I have uh street magic on my channel. Okay. Okay. I'm going to check out your channel then, man. Um, I've been meaning, yeah, I sh should have done that already, but I'm gonna check out your channel. See, uh, see what's going on. I love some good, uh, some good car tricks, some good street magic. Um, right now it's currently, oh, we got 40 seconds left. 89, 87 Boston. Got this Boston up, up, going up for it. Up, 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 foul. There we go. Jeez. It's getting intense. I love playoff basketball. I'm not really a basketball guy. I mean, I'll watch the game if I'm, you know, if I'm if I'm at a bar, whenever that'll happen again. Uh, if I'm at a bar or something like that, you know, basketball game's on. I'll watch it, but I don't, you know, I'm just not, I'm, I'm a baseball guy. I'm a football guy. But uh, basketball, but when it comes to the playoffs, man, geez, does it get intense. Gets really intense. So yeah, we got what thirty-four seconds left. Yeah, thirty-four point eight seconds left. See, this is when it gets good. This is when it's like nail biting, man. Nail biting. And you know what? All these players are like thinking, "Am I going to be that guy? Am I going to be that guy that's going to have that last fucking shot? 
Ah, ah, or whatever. I don't know. It's going to be crazy. Damn, Dave, your feed is uh, way late. Is it way late? Yeah, no. Well, it's like, uh, yeah, it probably is. It's usually like a 10 second delay. So, yeah, I have no control of that. So, <laughs> release the Tango and Cash Cut. There's a Tango and Cash Cut? I just heard uh, recently that they were talking about a McG cut of uh, Terminator Salvation. I'm like, yeah, please. I can't believe that I'm actually saying the words release the McG cut, but fucking A, there it is, because <laughs> I don't really like, uh, I mean, he's all, He's not like a super, he's not like a terrible director, but it's just some of his movies kind of suck. Um, but of course, yeah, you knew that was going to be the case. I mean, Terminator Salvation was the direction that the Terminator franchise was supposed to go. That that franchise was supposed to go that direction. And it, they fucked it up. You know, I, apparently they fucked it up a lot more than than we know about. So, but um, yeah. So then after that, it was just like, okay, let's just rehash the normal, like present day. We have a savior and we send people back in time. Let's do it. Go. But Salvation was, uh, was totally supposed to be where... Salvation already has a director's cut. I know, but uh, I just read a headline that there's an even darker version out there. It might be a director's cut, but it might not be his cut. Terry Crews would get put back in the Terminator movie. He was in the Terminator movie? Um, I don't know. It hasn't been. Um, Dune being pushed back has not been confirmed yet. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Don't matter what. Um Wonder Woman's gonna be put right there Christmas time. Um, I highly doubt that. Uh, yeah, it's just yeah, it just sucks. It all just sucks. Hey Dave, just got through watching the live stream battle. I'm sad by who won. Um, just wanted to know what are you looking forward to as DC fan tomorrow? Um, what am I looking forward to tomorrow? Anything Batman related? <laughs> Jeez. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go through it again. Let's go through it again here because I'm trying. I need a refresher because I'm just not as I'm not as excited as I was, uh, you know, for the last one, obviously. But um, let's kind of go through it again here. And uh, I mean, anything Batman related is obviously going to be. I'm looking forward to, of course, uh, ask Harley Quinn uncensored because, you know, Kaylee Cuoco got the perfect Harley Quinn voice, you know, her and uh, her and um, and Margot Robbie. I mean, they have their own unique spin on the character, and I absolutely love that. I'm mean, looking forward to seeing like what the uh, did, well, I mean, obviously, okay, duh. What would be the uh, the thing I'm looking forward to the most tomorrow is hearing some of that junky XL score for the Snyder Cut. I mean, come on, seriously. Oh, did he he missed both three free throws? What happened? Oh shit! Ouch! He missed both free throws. Oh, that's not good. What the hell is even going on? It's still at 34.9. So they reset the clock a little bit, I guess. It's getting so intense. God, man. Somebody somebody got hurt, it looks like. Anyways, um, you know, uh, I know some people are like, fuck the three Jokers, <laughs> yeah, of course. But I'm looking forward to uh, Batman the Joker War. That's going to be interesting. I don't know. I'm just going to peek into a lot of this stuff. You know, Doom Patrol, see what's going on with that. I still need to watch season two. I haven't watched season two yet. I need to add that to uh, the list because right now, obviously, I'm like, tomorrow I'm going to be watching the new episode of The Boys as well as Raised by Wolves. I don't know about you guys, but if you're not watching Raised by Wolves, you should be. Fucking series is awesome, man. Series is fucking awesome. Tell you what, Ridley Scott, Ridley Scott loves his Android characters to malfunction. He loves it when his Android characters are just like act a little twitchy. That's for damn sure. Yeah. Man of tomorrow world premiere. We'll probably watch that. Uh, I'll watch that and then, you know, do a little review or something like that. A lot of good stuff that's going to be happening tomorrow. I'm sure some of us will be talking about it. We'll be talking about it. Good job. Dollar store Drake. <laughs> Jose. That's mean. No, nah, it's okay. Um, it's the game over. No, nope. oh, is that who? Uh, is that what you're talking about for the Raptors? All right, it's ninety to eighty-seven, seven point nine seconds left. Yes, guys, there's going to be a delay on the fee, so obviously, like by the time you hear it, it's probably going to be over with. So what I gotta love about fucking playoff basketball, playoff anything really? I mean, playoff sports is just where it's at. Playoff football, baseball, even soccer for shit's sake. 
I don't know. I can't watch soccer. I, I have tried to watch soccer and I just can't do it. The field is too fucking big. You, you know, you make that field just like half the size it, it, that it is. Then I can maybe watch some soccer, but I can't watch soccer. I really cannot. I can't watch soccer and I can't watch golf. <laughs> golf is, yeah, I just can't do it. All right. 92 87. I think this game's pretty much over. I think the Celtics have this one. Yeah, I think they have this one. So it looks like that's what's going to be the, the case. It's just going to be Celtics heat. It's over. It's over. Yeah, it's over. The Raptors are just like, we don't fucked up. Fucked up. And now here comes a commercial talking about the COVID thing, talking about empty bars and everything and blah, blah. Yeah. God, just makes you wonder what the fuck. I mean, where are we going to be at this time next year? Is it going to be anything different? Is it going to be worse? Is it going to be better? You know, I, I, I just question it. You know, we, we thought we were going to be on lockdown for a little bit. And it just seems like it's never going to end, right? It's never going to end because, you know, what's going to happen, guys. We're going to be going into the winter, winter pretty soon here. Flu season is going to be showing up. So what is going to happen? Are we going to have like a, is there going to be like a death match, like a Kong versus a Godzilla death match, a Batman versus Superman death match of uh, COVID versus influenza? Is that what's going to happen? You know, is like one going to cancel out the other? You know, I don't know about you, but I've never, I've never gotten a flu shot and I never get the flu. So I'm like wondering, do I do the same thing when it comes to the COVID shot? Should I get the COVID shot or should I just go fuck it? I'm wondering if I've been exposed to it already, to be honest. I mean, I live in Southern California. Um, I still go into work every day. Um, so, oh, you did share it. You shared a, a picture with me, Nate. I see that. Let me see what, what this is about. I'm scared. Oh yeah. Super. Oh yeah. Okay. So this is, that's where uh, Val Kilmer is going to be with the superstar super fans. So definitely going to check that out. Hopefully they mention the, um, the Schumacher cut, you know, why not? I mean, we're getting the Stallone cut of Rocky four. That's right. He's going to get the Stallone cut. A Rocky Four when I take on the Dolph Lundgren guy. Okay, he's fucking tall, but whatever. Whatever. All right, game's over. Congratulations, Celtics. Good job. Good job. Okay, don't go out and celebrate. Okay, celebrate in your hotel rooms. Okay, but yeah. Anyways, what's going on, Rowdy? What's going on? How you guys doing? All right, I'm going to start inviting some people in here because I'm getting lonely. <laughs> Uh, I've already sent one invite invite out that I send out every week. You guys know what invite that is. Of course. You guys know exactly what invite that is. All right. Let's start sending some fucking invites out. And, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. So we got that guy. Okay. Let's see. Where else am I sending it? <laughs> Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, Kersey Clemens, she is the second person, second person to come out from the Justice League cast from the initial Justice League cast, because obviously she wasn't part of the first or from the theatrical Justice League cast. But uh, Kersey Clemens has um, showed her support. I stand with uh, Ray Fisher. So that is bueno. Here, let me pull that up real quick. Uh, just in case you let me see here. All right. Miss Miss Clemens, there it is right there. Bop, 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 bop. All right, so of course you guys probably saw this, which is good. She should. I mean, she wasn't a part of the reshoots, obviously, but the fact that she got removed from the movie and anything that her character had, and God knows what's going to happen to her now, like, you know, with the Flash movie. She wasn't on that fucking casting sheet, sadly, but, you know, we all want her to be our uh, Iris West. But uh, yeah, she did that. So now we got Jason Momoa and Kersey Clemens. Good for them. I want, I, want, I want Ben Affleck to start doing it. I, want, I definitely want Ben Affleck to start singing. I keep saying that, though. I know, guys. All right. Let me go ahead. Let's see. We got our first person backstage, waiting backstage, you know, eating some of them cold cuts we got back there. Um, but yeah, congratulations to the Celtics. I guess they're going to take on the Heat. I don't know. I'm not even following what's going on with basketball. I'm just like upset that because the Giants needed to beat the Padres tonight and tomorrow. If they're going to be like, I mean, the Giants are kicking ass, but they, for some reason, the Dodgers and the Padres have their fucking, 
they just they can't seem to beat them, man. Can't seem to beat them. So that's what I'm like disappointed because I was like, damn it, they needed to beat them tonight because they need to get that wild card spot. Because if anybody can take it all in the playoffs from a wild card spot is the Giants. Okay, Dodgers can't even freaking make it all. The Dodgers can't win the World Series. Yes, Dodger fans, I'm talking shit again. Um, the Dodgers cannot. They cannot win a World Series even when they're had they have the best re record in baseball. <laughs> they always blow it in the playoffs. They always do. Just saying. Been since 1988. 1988. My dad still has that pin that he still has that he still has the the what you call it on his wall and I always make fun of it. Because they can't seem to do it. All right, whoops. Okay. All right. All right. So we got, okay, we got Mr. Scott McClellan and we got Mr. John Aaron Garza. What's going on, bro? What's up? What's up, man? Hey, can you hear me? I can hear you. Scott, oh, you're okay, good, so right? You're, your your audio is always good. good. Yeah, <laughs> your audio is always good. All right. Let me get rid of <laughs> this. I don't want to block all that. What's going on, guys? How you doing tonight? Ah, doing okay. Doing well, man. Yeah, I, know. Uh, I know. I know. I know. You're playing some what? <laughs> Injustice, man. Oh, how's it going? Kicking ass with some Black Canary. Oh, oh yeah. Know. Oh, she was totally. She, Wonder Woman, and Supergirl were totally my go-to characters in Injustice too. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I leveled yeah, those up right. so much. Yeah. yeah. See, yeah, I, already, I got, I got Wonder Woman at seventeen, uh, Supergirl at twenty-one, and Canary at seventeen. Nice. So, I had Wonder Woman up to what? Don't they like max out like forty or something? Because when Injustice Two came out, it was right before the Wonder Woman movie, and I remember I literally pulled an all nighter, uh, <laughs> powering her up because in the multi, because yeah. of the multiverse where you could build and get the movie yeah. costume. Oh yeah, I, I oh, went. That's right. Oh yeah, my I god, I've yeah. I remember I my kids woke up the next morning going, "Daddy, are you still up?" <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Bloodshot eyes. You're like, yes. Go away. <laughs> Fucking yeah. Thumbs up. Go get some shit. cereal. <laughs> yeah see i mean i'm telling you what i'm gonna i'm probably gonna pull the trigger on i on getting like a ps5 or i don't know ps5 or xbox I, i'm trying to decide i don't know what you guys have uh playstation for me I, so see, if you want if I you have, if you want to play with me then oh, that came out completely wrong i know i did but, i totally did but it's okay i do i do scott <laughs> you know then yeah, i say playstation I, yeah I, I say xbox only because i play gears of war and uh, uh okay. but you know yeah, I'm leaning towards I, I PS5. I am. Yeah. So, which you know. know, whatever, it makes sense. Yeah, it does. You, if you like kid games, huh? oh kidding. damn! <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm gonna be nah, buying just, that fucking. Nah, I'm gonna get that new just, Batman game, Suicide Squad, everything, man. Yeah. The only thing that's going to work in my favor is that apparently Gotham Knights is still going to be released on PS4 because it's coming out early enough. Mm -hmm. So I might, as much as I you know would hate to do the the uh, the old generation of a game where I can get the next gen, it might just be the case of I still have this PS4 with so many games that I haven't played. I might as well just buy it for the system I already own. There you go. Right. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, well, with the PS5, you're going to be able to play like you know PS4 games and all that. Some stuff, right? PS4, some uh, PS4 games. Uh, it's not. It's not one. That that is one downfall of playstation is up to this point there has been no backwards compatibility oh, ps5 so was going to be the first time <laughs> with backwards compatibility but it wasn't like at launch it's not going to be everything so uh, okay interesting yeah i remember it was like reading up on that people were speculating on whether that was going to happen there's still not a price for it though right no yeah. there's not yeah no. <laughs> Jeez, get on it i think I know. I think they're going to come out with an Injustice Three. Um, yeah. Game. There you go. I'll be uh, getting that as well. Yeah. Man, I'm not going to have time to do YouTube anymore. Jace, that's what's got, <laughs> what I worry about. That's what I worry about. But speaking of YouTube, Scott, you had you you had a live stream that happened with your uh, Squadcast members, huh? Oh, absolutely! Live from the Watchtower is there. What it we're, is. Uh -oh. That is. All, all, all hands to Jordan for coming up for that name. But yeah, we did about a two-hour yeah. live stream discussing we for. For our audience, we got us all together and we did a complete two hour breakdown of the Ray Fisher situation, getting the timeline all set up, really kind of breaking down 
Because we just were like, well, one, we want to talk about it and we wanted the whole network to talk about it, but right. also just kind of like what we do, which is, well, let's, we, we got a thread of the tweets and we just literally started from June to that day and just broke everything down because it's just so many people are still so either ignorant. And I don't mean that insultingly. I just, no. I mean, ignorant in the definition of they don't know because they don't follow this. Like, no, like we don't. do. Yeah. We're on top of it. Like nonstop. I mean, that's why, I mean, you still got people, you know, wondering what the hell the Snyder cut is for God's sakes. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's just, this just the way it is, you know, and that's why, you know, that's why we do the things that we do. And, uh, no, I thought that was pretty cool. I saw a little bit of it. And, uh, is that something you guys are going to be doing like often once a month, a couple, every couple of weeks right now, uh, we're not committing to any, any schedule. Yeah. It's just kind of like as the wind, as the wind blows. I mean, it's just kind of a thing of it for, for all of us, it's time. Yeah, You know, and putting out a, with all of us putting out our own weekly shows, plus our Patreon content, it's just like it, it right now, oh, wow. you guys are the YouTubers. We'll, <laughs> we, we, we are just, da we're, we're dabbling, trying to offer something like that was a discussion that, you know, a live two hour round table discussion with the entire network that's made for a YouTube stream. Yeah. And so we just thought we would, you know, sort of launch the show that way. Yeah, that's good stuff. Well, you know, it's funny. Speaking of, speaking of like, you know, nobody, nobody really knowing kind of things that we have all been accustomed to, right? Like I was, I'm, I'm going through my, my Snyder Cut essay video that I'm basically, it's going to be talking about, and I don't know if it, I feel like it's too long, but it's probably going to be about 20 to 25 minutes, but it goes basically it breaks down everything from how we got justice league to how we got Zack Snyder justice league and all the, the kind of behind the scenes stuff. And as I was doing my research and, and kind of pulling up my quotes and all that, it was funny because I, I found that, that Jeff Johns quote from July in 2017 that, I mean, if, if you, if you read that and you thought, Oh, he's just, he's a humble person right there as he's talking about his work and how he views a characters and, and what he thinks is good for certain characters. And so I posted it out and it was it was like a fucking frenzy on that whole thing, dude. Like Yeah, even Ray Fisher in, like that, right? And then Ray yeah, Fisher. Fisher yes, he did. No, just, yeah. I mean, dude, that's fucking nuts, man. I mean, and it's funny because Jeff Johns was basically saying, I know the the way that characters should be, and I'm gonna tell people what they should be because guess what? I've written the books. You know what I yeah. mean? Like the arrogance, I was, I, yeah, the arrogance, the hubris. I mean, everything about that fucking quote is just holy yeah. shit. Now I know what it was like. With I guarantee you, that's that, that was his attitude to Patty, to fucking Ben, to Rick, to to Zach. Everyone. I mean, yeah, every well, fucking it. director, man. Yeah, that's what it says right here. So I work with so many talented people. So there's people that I that love it and understand it and embrace it. And then there's people that don't know that don't know that. And uh, you want to help them learn it. And you want to tell them why a certain storyline for a certain character might not work or why or why a take on a character might not work or what Superman really should be. Hmm. Geez, I'm hmm. already starting to dig at somebody right there. <laughs> right. Um, exactly. Big yeah, I mean it's already showing right there in that first paragraph. But the whole thing is a craft and, and shape. Uh, but the whole thing is to craft and shape the story, and the tone to fit the character and to celebrate the character instead of deconstruct the character. Jeez, who's he talking about there, man? I think you want to celebrate the character because you've got to celebrate something and build it up. I think to really make it into something that represents who that character truly is, and also the fact that I've written all these comic books <laughs> gives me a lot of credibility <laughs> coming into the room because it's hard to argue sometimes like people can tell me what aquaman is but i've written the book literally it helps me out wow yeah i mean i, I mean it really is I'm pretty sure that was a fucking another dig at zach because oh yeah i think zach the whole thing aquaman. yeah yeah it almost seems like the whole thing was a dig at, at zach jeez because yeah, i mean it's fucking crazy. But it's just it's so frustrating, though, because 
especially since Snyder was like, you know, you know, he was looking at Jeff Johns's books and his work and everything. And, you know, they all were. I mean, and the fact that Johns has written some dark shit, but for some reason he just when it came to, uh, you know, what he wanted to put in the movies. I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, I, I know what he wanted to be. He wanted to be Kevin Feige part two. I get it. But it's just, yeah, man, that quote. Yeah, that quote is very frustrating. Well, and it's weird, man. I mean, it, it, it just reads so, like, it, because Snyder was gone at that time, but it was before Justice League. And it just reads like he is just fucking puffing his chest out. Like he's oh, got yeah. the best fucking thing coming. Yeah. Oh, he totally is. He totally is. I mean, that's just, that's I mean, that's, out, yeah, that's what, that's what really sucks about it all. But, um, um, Scott. Uh, what'd you think of that Dune trailer? We haven't talked about that yet. We, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, I know you I guys did. have. You guys have. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Ben inviting me on to real emotion to talk about the trailer for about fifteen minutes turned into about a one-hour love fest of me nah. talking about the book. I, I was like, yeah, he gave you a time limit. No way. <laughs> yeah. No, he it wasn't a time limit. It was more like, hey, can you spare fifteen minutes tonight? <laughs> 15 you really that's it 15 no oh but it was it was fun it was i mean you get me talking about a book that i love especially yeah. a book that's being turned into a movie by a director who i absolutely adore and it's just yeah. like uh, i actually watched yeah. your trailer reaction about an hour ago before jumping on so it was it was fun to kind of gauge everyone's reaction of okay yeah, because so. i'm not i'm not as familiar with it as i mean I, I do plan on i have the book i'm going to i'm just finishing up another book right now and i'm, I'm gonna jump on that because i'm so curious about that world and i've watched the david lynch movie you know a while ago of course and right. i know there was some i know there was some fuckery that happened with that there's some yeah. cheesiness that happens with it but you know, I mean, I, I always this is what I always love when um a trailer or something comes out when people do the parallels and they'll like put the parallel scenes together. And it's like, hey, you know what? I mean, th th even though there might have been some stuff that happened with the Lynch version, I mean, you could see the parallels that, you know, of oh, certain yeah. things, certain story beats. Have you have yeah, you ever I seen the extended that. television edit? No, I don't think I have. Yeah. There was, um, it, it was released one time. I, I actually bought it for my dad. I got, I got a Best Buy Steel book on DVD. It's about, I want to say it's about an hour or more longer. Mm -hmm. The biggest part is that there's like this giant, like 20, 30 minute prologue that's like uses like storyboard and concept art. Mm -hmm. And it really like gives you like all the background information you need that goes, oh yeah, this makes a little bit more sense now that I actually like have all this information. That's right. Yeah, it does <laughs> help. And didn't uh, Sci-Fi had like a little mini series, right? They did with William Hurt yeah. as as uh, Duke Leto. So I I had that uh, on DVD, which was actually out of print. But then I will admit that I gave I. I took it to a secondhand bookstore because once I found out about Denny's movie coming out, I was like, no, no, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm, need. no yeah. need. No, I'm no good. Need. No, no. I mean, I know. I mean, one of the things, I mean, I mean, obviously there's going to be those people that, you know, that are always like, why is it going to be so dark and gritty and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, whatever. I don't know. I mean, it, to me, it seems like how are you supposed to make like a, a story like this fun? You know, I, 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 unless you have Taka Watiti directing it, I guess. I don't know what everybody's expecting, but um, what I gather from the trailer is, I mean, how to it just it looks gorgeous, first off, you know, and I'm curious to see because I know it's I mean, it's a different kind of world. You got the families that are pinned up against each other. You know, like I said, I'm not too familiar with who is playing who. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing a uh, clean shave and Momoa kick some ass. I mean that's it, it's it's so it's so very weird to always see him with a uh, without a beard, but looking forward to that. I mean, you got Oscar Isaac, you got I mean the the cast itself is just one is just pretty phenomenal. And after you've read the book, you'll yeah. look at the cat, you'll look at the cast and who they're cast as, and you'll go, hell yeah, oh, okay. like like that's, that's the thing. Like oh yeah, w w when they started announcing who was playing who, I, I that was part of my initial hype for the movie was I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 you know like and i i'm not even talking about a real even relating it back to who played them in you know the lynch movie but it's yeah. just like when you when you read the book and you're like 
damn straight. That's exactly that, that, who should that works. That works. I was actually surprised. I'll be interested to see if Momoa Momoa is playing Duncan Idaho. I'll be interested yeah. to see if his character is maybe embellished upon in the in the movie. Because when you go and read the book, he's not. He's. I mean, he's he's important, but he disappears for huge chunks of the book. So I'm going to be very Does curious he? to see. Yeah, hmm. but so I'll be very curious to see. Is it one of those things where? You know, because he is kind of lower down. Like when you look, walk, look at the cast list, Momoa's kind of down there at the at the bottom. I mean, well, he was, his, wasn't he with the with in the in the credits? Yeah, he was like the with or the and. Yeah. Like right down, he, yeah. he's down there with Javier Bardem. Yeah, so, Javier Bardem's yeah. the and guy, right? Yeah, I always like I always like it. Like, who's the and guy? Who's the with guy? And who's the and guy? When it comes to like the casting, uh, when they show like the when they run the credits, you know, I always think like it's like you'll always see like a Steve Buscemi in like the and position or something like that. You know, you always see like a character, uh, an actor that you always know is like an and guy. You know, I always think of like Judy Dench in the J- yeah. in the Daniel Craig because she was always with Judy Dench as yeah. him. Yeah, so there it is. Yeah, yeah, she got the you. Always, yeah, you always have that character that has their name, like who who they are. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I mean, the character, I mean, the character, the uh, the trailer is good. I mean, I thought, you know, it was like when when I heard Pink Floyd, I was like, huh, interesting choice. You know, I was like, OK, that's, you know, it, it threw me yeah. off a little bit at first. But, you know, I thought it was yeah, it's fine. It was like Nirvana no, no, playing in the Batman trailer. Yeah, you know? true. No, it was like it was uh, with it was basically Hallelujah for me for was it for the Snyder trailer. It was like I was like. I'm not expecting that kind of a trailer music. And, you know, I, I always focus on the music. Like, that's just what I do. So yeah. when I heard it, I was like, wow, this is very different yeah. than I thought it was going to be. But yeah, it just, it just, the visuals look so much more like that choir coming in, dude, just was so nice. It kind of enhanced. Oh, yeah. Gosh. I think like the, 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 the couple more times that I watched it, uh, it's just at first, it kind of was like, oh, interesting choice you know it seems like that's the way to go i mean i know like for a while there it seemed like trailers like had to have some kind of upbeat like either rock music or something in their trailer just to be like (laughs) hey look what we're doing but now it seems like hey let's have let's have a song that everybody recognizes but we're going to also incorporate it into the score or whatever it seems like i mean that's what it's like make a somber version of some 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 sort of song absolutely yeah, just like just like like something in uh something in the way like nirvana i mean it, it starts off normal then it goes into what the score is actually you know it kind of like blends into it the way that it, it goes with the trailer it's just so freaking oh i love it i love right. that it but, made, uh, me, it made me want to listen to that fucking album again like yeah I, right I, I, had a, I was like damn i gotta listen to that shit again yeah are you talking about nirvana or are you talking about dark side of the moon uh dark side of the moon yeah yeah yeah, and I, what I did was I figured out I was like, you know what other track would be an amazing track for like trailer kind of like that would hmm. be us and them. So like I arranged Ooh. it in a certain way. Us, like, us, you know what? us, and yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. You know, they have a black and blue in there. Yeah, yeah, so, but you know, yeah, oh, not bad. Well, not bad. it was kind of like when they used um, education on the New Mutants trailer. I liked that. Like, yeah. and, and, and they played it. Better. Yeah. It worked really well, and they played it in that sort of, like, it wasn't even quite full speed, I felt like. Or maybe it was, but it didn't feel <laughs> that way the way it was used in the trailer. Yeah. But, uh, no, it's, uh, but, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I don't think we're going to see it this year. <laughs> no. <laughs> definitely not. Sucks. That Wonder Woman, uh, that Wonder Woman got postponed. And speaking of Wonder Woman, we got Wonder Mega showing Why? up. <laughs> hey, what's going on, she finally Not got the- a her, guys. She I know. Got- look at. I yeah. love. I mean, it's, isn't that an amazing shirt, Meg? I mean, I yes. got the t-shirt version of it. I love it. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing. It is well it's worth awesome. the wait. I know. It, it seemed like it, it. It took a little bit to get where you're at, but uh, where you living, Nick Mulberry? Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> no, mm-hmm. I ordered it. I think the 26th or something, and I just got it today. So. Yeah. Took forever, yeah. but you yeah. got your. But everybody got their uh, associate producer shirt pretty uh, at the same time. Yeah. yeah, poor Ray, Ray Flightcast yeah. still waiting on his. Oh, oh like literally it? everybody else in the network. We all like, hey, I got my shirt. Hey, I got my shirt. And Ray's sitting there going, 
where the hell is my shirt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh oh, 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 we got Mr. Ben Everts has joined as well. What's there we on? go, Ben. Hey, ben. <laughs> Whoa, ben joined? Dude, I was thinking he was Game. gonna be out. No fucking way. Yeah, yeah no, he's uh, here. He's here. Yeah, I ben, had a, a what's that? <laughs> tell him your story, dude. Man, why, uh, why are you putting my business out there? <laughs> Already. I don't he just got here. Let him let him take a drink or two first. I, I know, yeah, right? No, yeah, no, 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 I, ahead, man. I got to hear the story I now. Can't, I can't oh, drink. I can't drink. Actually, uh, I was, I was in emergency for about six six hours. Oh my god! What? what happened? Yeah, because I thought uh, I was getting. Uh, I... <laughs> oh, fucking god! <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Well, I was I'm having laughing. some chest pains. So, oh shit! Got a yeah. pain in my chest. Oh shit! Yeah. So, so you, Ben, is this you, the old man problems that you we seen that, Yeah, you seen that meme <laughs> okay. of yeah, that old man okay. clutching okay. his chest? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so, continue. I, actually, I I was getting I, I couldn't sleep last night because I was getting some bad chest pains. So I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna die tonight. And in the morning, it just got it got worse and then i was trying to power through and then by midday i was like no i gotta go to, i gotta go to emergency so i spent there like six uh, six hours and the whole thing was that uh i had two bruised ribs uh the sternum like the the, the um there's some muscles there that's what he, he said and, and they all they are irritated that's what mm -hmm. they were inflated inflated no uh, inflamed, inflamed, yeah, inflamed. There, there we go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, are you yeah. sure you're not drinking tonight? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, they gave me some sedatives, so okay. <laughs> the uh, there you go. <laughs> so, so I cannot mix anything. <laughs> yeah. You know well, what, I, Meg, just... Meg? What are you drinking? Uh, I have white wine. It's the only yeah. thing I have. That's usually my drink of choice during the week. So good job. Thank you. No, but um, Ben, I was right there with you actually not too long ago. I think some people might remember. I was uh, I was having lower back pain that was shooting up and down, and I thought oh. it was internal. I thought it was internal. I'm like, fuck, something's wrong with my kidneys. I'm like, my kidneys, something's going on. Maybe I got a kidney infection or something like that because I'm sitting there just like feeling like this discomfort, and it just keeps on like shooting up and down, and I'm like, what the hell? Mm. And finally on like a Sunday, I'm like, you know what? This is bothering the shit out of me. I might as well do it. And, you know, I'm kind of traumatized because I got, you know, when I got my, when my appendix pretty much like partially ruptured, you know, I, I, I felt I was feeling like throughout the, the, the week before um, I went in to get my appendix removed, I thought I just kind of strained my oblique or something like that. But then all of a sudden it just got worse and worse and worse. And turns out, hey, guess what? You have a ticking time bomb <laughs> in your fucking side that's uh, going to kill you if you don't get it removed. Ooh. So so when I started feeling that, I'm like, oh, man, it's something with my kidneys. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. So I was like, you know, pacing back and forth. And I'm like, all right, I'm just going to go to urgent care. They checked me out, checked, you know, the piss test, blah, blah, blah. They said, eh, nothing really showing. And then I just realized, I'm like, you know what? This probably is just like, I probably just strained my back. And sure enough, I did. It's gone. No worries about it anymore. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. That's right. I am 36 years old. So shit like that can can happen, I guess. Yeah. You know what's funny? Because uh, <laughs> when I was at the doctor, he asked me, "Do you uh, did you get into a fight? I was like, no. <laughs> Yeah, no. He asked me a couple of. He asked me, and uh, Craig made a funny uh, comment uh, in, in a little conversation I had offline. But anyway, but he asked me, "Hey, did you get into a fight?" Like, no. Uh, did you lift weights? Like, uh, no. But I, <laughs> why, why you laugh, Scott? I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. That was that was that was uncouth of me. I'm sorry. Well, I was, just, like, you couldn't hold it in, dude. You like, at least pretend. <laughs> Learn how to be discreet, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've had a week at work. There's no discreet oh, bone dude, left in my body at this so. point. Yeah. So I'm already, I'm already on my second drink. I told Dave I'm done. I, can I, tell. I had, I had two drinks fisting. like I had two drinks like ready to go, and it's just Damn. like no, mm. no. Uh, it's it's been that kind of week for me too. <laughs> but uh, I know. But yeah, sometimes when sometimes you get these little pains, you don't know what the hell it is. You start freaking out, you know. And I'm like I said, I was traumatized from my appendix thing, so I'm thinking like the worst. I'm like, oh my god, I got cancer in my kidneys or something like that. 
But uh, speaking of uh, cancer in the kidneys, Mr. Chris, Chris Walker. <laughs> what? 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 Yeah, That's yeah. a weird thing. With that. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. I don't know why. I just had, uh, no, Chris, you are you are the cure for cancer in the kidneys. Hey, what's uh, up, sir? I was, I was gonna say if y'all if y'all see Ben, just know that he is married to a. Um, is it she? Is she Hispanic? Is she Latin? Is she? You should know this. I dude. just I. Feel I feel for it. Well, I can't understand. Listen, her, let so me I, let me give you a, a little bit of education. A Latin <laughs> person is somebody who, who's from Latin America. So yes, she's Latin. <laughs> <laughs> is she Hispanic? Yeah, uh, she speaks Spanish. Say. Yes, she's Hispanic. You <laughs> dummy. <laughs> you, <laughs> <still know this. laughs> you you would think I would know that, but I, I don't. But <laughs> listen, I was worried for you because guess what? You, I mean. Let's let's just let's keep it real. She doesn't like me, and no, she doesn't like she doesn't like <laughs> yeah. your guts. She uh, hates your guts. That hard to believe. I find that very hard she, to believe. I know. Oh, if she, if she baby's been extra wrist. sarcastic today. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna go. Like I said, I've had a week just like Scott, man. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm, just, I'm sorry if I offend anybody here. I've already done it. I think I've already offended everybody but Meg so far. No, well, and Meg's just looking at the old men. Meg's yeah. just looking at the old men, going, "What the hell are they complaining <laughs> about?" <laughs> uh, Mr. Chris Wong, how you doing today, sir? Oh, rough week as well. Oh, uh, see, rough. Oh, so dang, rough. Dang, what the fuck? Yeah, it's just been fact, I, uh, just right before, right before this, I actually blo broke a glass and cut my finger. Oh my god! Oh. And so I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> yeah, definitely time to drink. So this is heavy on vodka today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it sucks, man. And um, uh, what was I gonna say? No, there was not. Um, it, uh, what was I gonna say? Shit. See, my brain's even going out. Uh, you brought me in on cancer. So. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know. When I thought I had cancer in my kidneys, I know. It's terrible. No, but uh, no, no. But, yeah, we were talking about that. I mean, it's just like I think I, I think I just overstrained myself at uh, one point trying to do this like ab workouts that I thought I could do, and I think I just kind of like effed it up, effed up my back a little bit, and then my my chair at work also was also really crappy. I thought it was like cool. I was like, oh, I got this old style chair. Look at it. It makes noise. People probably think I'm like, you know, farting in the fucking office because I move <laughs> slightly and it makes the noise. And I thought, I don't know. I just thought I, I, I liked it. But then I was like, nope, I got to get one of the good chairs that has like, you know, the support and everything all the way up to like the head. So that helped. And then, yeah, just totally went away. So not dying. Sorry, guys. But anyway, age. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. I got to remind myself that hey, yeah, you know, mm, getting up there. Damn it, just kind of sneaks up on you. Yeah. Uh, unlike Meg, who's like you know, 21 years old. She just that's like her first drink she has, right? There. Yep. Yeah, I just <laughs> turned 21. Yes, just. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Wow. Yeah. And then I saw your ninth grade picture on Twitter today. I, I know that's a lie. Come on. I know. I, know. <laughs> you know what? I saw that and I'm like, she's holding a phone. And I'm like, when I was in ninth grade, I didn't even have a fucking cell phone. I had a beeper. Yeah. And then it looked up. I'm like, yeah, no I had a beeper. I had a beeper. That didn't have a camera on it. That was around. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Oh no, I got, I had one of the little note. My first cell phone was freshman year of college, and it was one of those Nokia's that you could like change yes. the face plate on and play like Snake on. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, had, like, I had the first uh, colored screen Nokia phone. That was my first phone. That was like right after, I was probably like two years after high school mm. when I got my first cell phone. Jeez. You guys are wow. fucking old. I know. Gee, we're we're yeah. really <laughs> oh no, because then I went straight from I went straight from that Nokia to the Motorola Razor. Nice. Oh, wow. we gotta get stylish. That's nice. Get stylish. Awesome. And uh, you know, speaking of old, hey Matt from uh. Oh shit. <laughs> hey. <laughs> What's up, buddy? <laughs> fucking hey, old motherfucker. Hey, I know. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, I'm, I'm bringing everyone in with like just you know saying something really bad and terrible. So yeah. Oh, know. that's all you got then. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I could have been a lot worse. I was a lot worse. Than 
totally was. Yeah, you were I don't know when, man, when Ben said he had a beeper, <laughs> that, that brought me back. Yeah, <laughs> like a beeper. Oh, just uh, check oh that bad boy. Yeah, yeah, that's where the days like you get, get the a payphone, got a pocket yep. full of quarters. Now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> different uh, color beepers. Good. You can change the the covers and stuff like that. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I was having a conversation on a game group on Facebook that I'm a part of. That was like, so what was the first video game you played? And I was like, something on a Texas instrument. And someone like <laughs> brought up like the exact model. I was like, oh Ooh. my god, yes, I had that. Those calculators are what, awesome. What, what was your first video game system? Atari. 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 Yeah. Which one? Uh, Atari. There was like two hundred of them. <laughs> the Atari two hundred then. <laughs> <laughs> No, I had an Atari, yeah, and it was uh, it was fun. I mean, you had Damn. the joystick and one button, one. Yes. Yeah. On yeah. That oh, you had the twenty six hundred. Yeah, the Atari twenty six hundred. Oh, I didn't have the first. Oh, yeah. the model number. <laughs> that old, that's awesome. <laughs> what was your first game console, Meg? Uh, a Nintendo sixty four. No, it had PS three. PS three. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> 64, 64 had 007. Uh, 007. Nintendo 64. I bought that for my kid, for my oh, older son. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Nintendo 64. I remember that. I remember that came out when I was in. Oh, was that middle? Was that middle school for me? Because there was like the the Mario game and it had like yeah, the first three D Golden Eye, man. That's Mario awesome. Golden Eye. Yeah. Yes, that was the first Star first Wars: first Shadows of the Empire. Yes. Oh yeah. yes. That was, that was when that came out. You know, no, Goldeneye was a shit, man. Yeah. I mean, yes. I remember one day, like a uh, buddy of mine, like slept over, and then like the we woke up at like seven o'clock the next day, and played Goldeneye versus mode probably till about seven o'clock that night. I mean, gee, it was just all of a sudden we was like, dude, the sun's going down. What the hell just happened to this day? <laughs> and and it, when it, when I think about, it, I'm like, uh, versus mode was kind of boring because you could only play one on one. And I'm like, how the hell do we play for like 12 straight hours? Like the same <laughs> level, the same weaponry. We just lost. What the hell? We just went through like some kind of wormhole. It's whoever like, can get to the golden gun first, man. Pretty much. Oh, one yeah. shot. Yeah. Golden oh, gun, one. one shot kill, man. Yeah, man. Good yeah, well, it's really funny. I got I got my seven-year-old a Switch for Christmas. Nice. And he loves playing uh, like Mario Kart and Mario Brothers on it. And I love it how he tries cool. to like, Daddy, this is how you – I'm like, son – <laughs> Seriously, yeah. yeah we you want to talk to me yeah. about Mario Brothers and Mario oh, Kart? No, oh, no, sir, no, sir. That's that's not how Dude. this is going to play out. Dude, I've been playing Fortnite with my kids, and I've been dying, and they're calling me noob. I'm oh like, no! Oh, oh, no. How dare they? I've been playing Doom before you were, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, right. Back in my day, I had Wolfenstein. Uh, I was gonna say I was shooting Nazis and Wolfenstein. Yeah, yes. that's right. I, right. I, I wasn't a Doom guy. I was a Wolfenstein. I was a Wolfenstein guy too. Yeah. yeah. Remember, oh, do you remember Duke Nukem? Yes, oh, Duke Nukem. Yeah. Nukem. Yes. Yeah. yeah, man. This is becoming uh, very sad. It, is. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. My hip is hurting. How horrible uh, was the the covers of those video games? They were just horrible. Yeah, the they were. The drawing on those, I mean, there was no market research for those things. They were just yeah. like, hey, do you know how to draw? Uh, draw this guy up. Here yeah, you go. Draw this guy up. Make him look freaking buff and shoot. Make it look exactly. Yeah. yeah. I know, man. But uh, yeah, okay. We could we could jump off that a, a little bit. You don't want to talk about Duck Hunt? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Christ. Now you're really good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. How did that even work? I did, I was so fascinated. Like, how does it work? How can I just like aim and shoot a duck like that on my oh, own? I cheated. I was like a foot away from my screen. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that kid, you were that kid who was. I always felt that the closer like you there. got, the harder it got. It, 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 it would start messing with you. I felt yeah. you had to really get back, and then no, you yeah. had to get a broader shot. I don't know. No, if it was like a foot away from it, like. Yeah. You you catch them every time. I always yeah. like the level with the discs that threw out, you know. Oh, yeah. The shot, the shot put. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, I thought yeah. that was cool. Meg is like, what the this fuck is, are you guys even this talking is getting about? Sad. <laughs> yeah. You can't play that. You can't even play that on the LCD screens anymore because it doesn't, no. it doesn't have the no. right. 
doesn't have the whatever the like whatever the hell the shit the technology is it can't do it man <laughs> see kids don't know yeah, kids even the know. mods they don't like whenever they go to mod it they don't even feel or look the same <laughs> well maybe Zack snyder's justice league will make four by three a popular tv again yes. we can get it back oh, to Fox oh, TVs. Right. way to bring, way it, to bring back. it back Matt. thank you awesome. <laughs> oh cool. man but uh i'm sure you guys saw that kirstie clemens uh showed her support for ray fisher so that's yeah, cool really? so now we've got a secret we've got a set a second uh, cast member showing their support. I mean, we, 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 won't, we mustn't forget. I mean, obviously we think about the Third. initial cast, but we got to also remember there is a lot of characters, a lot of side characters and Kirsty Clemens doing that. I think that's actually pretty cool because mm -hmm. I mean, let's face it. She got removed from the whole damn thing and God knows if she's actually going to show up back up in the uh, flash movie. I hope someone she corrects you, Dave. It's three because uh, Kieran Bryson cyborg's mom. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Shit. Third, you're right. God, it's terrible. So, I don't want the comments to explode on you. You I know. idiot. What the yeah. fuck are you doing? Yeah. How do you not know this? Hey, no. So, yeah. I'm not, oh, I'm not Garza is here. Holy it. shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Listen, I'm not bringing up games, but I have been playing it well, this whole time. And so here's, here's what I'm thinking. Do y'all think we're going to see the Adam? Like actually do anything in the Snyder Cut? No. I don't. No, I don't oh, think no. so. No, I think Ryan Troy is just going to be there in Star Labs, and it's just kind of just a nice little cameo, a little setup to expand the universe. You know, I don't think he's actually going to do anything. They'll probably maybe it'll be like some kind of reference, maybe. Um, but well, he is supposed to be the director of nanotechnology for Star yeah. Labs, so I feel like that's going to be kind of your your that's your Easter egg. That's your Easter egg. You're like, oh, yeah. you, we know what this means. Exactly. So, well, right. yeah. so do, you think, do you think he's there to set up, let's say that it continues to season two? Do you think it, it leads him to become something in the next series? Because, I mean, there's got to be a reason for him to be mm. there, just like Manhunter and, and Lantern. <laughs> Wait, Lantern's in it? What? I didn't hear about this. No. Wait a second. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Who's playing yeah, Lantern? Yeah. And Benjamin, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry. Sorry, no. Sam. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. Yeah. Maybe, maybe he's going to have a Terrence Howard moment where he's going to run up to a suit and be like, next time. When you watch Iron Man 1 and see that scene, you go, oh, not for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, now when you look back, you know, when it happened back in 2008, I will admit I had a little bit of appreciation because I was like, I know what that means. Yes. You know, oh yeah. yeah. It was a wink. It was a wink. Yeah. It was yeah. a good wink. I mean, I mean, Iron the first Iron Man's fantastic. I mean, oh, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, I have everything. there That's it Iron is, Man. right there. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, obviously that probably in everybody's like top three when it comes to the MCU movies. Yeah, you know? the MCU ended right there for me. I still I still remember it being like a month, uh, like like just a month or two months before the Ed Norton Hulk movie, which I will die on the hill about how much yeah. I love the Ed oh, that Norton movie's Hulk movie. So oh, that was a Hulk Hulk movie. That was a Hulk movie, and I mean, uh, I don't know if you guys caught uh, Edward Norton on joe rogan experience but he talked he talked about that they talked about that movie and he talked about what he wanted to do with it and he really wanted to make like a you know a deconstructed dark you know a, a much grittier grounded story with the with the character have you seen the deleted scene where he has the suicide attempt yes and you yeah. see captain america captain America's shield mm -hmm. yes yes it was like oh my god look at that i mean no, I mean, he wanted to do a lot of things with it. But of course, I mean, it's just it's hard to do it when, you know, you've got these properties that want to expand this universe and it's very difficult. So, I mean, I mean, honestly, when I think about how where it all ended up, you know, I can't see Edward Norton being like a Professor Hulk. <laughs> that, <laughs> would fit. I mean, nah. yeah, nah. I mean, Mark Ruffalo, it works. I like Mark Ruffalo. I especially <laughs> like him. In in event, <laughs> I'm with you, Meg. Come on, man. sound effects. Yeah, I'm with Meg. First event, he was, he was good. You know, the first one, but then it kind of started falling apart after that. I don't even want to talk about fucking Thor Ragnarok. Don't, don't yeah, go there. No, Christ, man. What they did with him there was just horrible. Yeah. Even in even in Ultron, when they try to force this whole love thing to uh, the sun's getting real low, big guy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, oh. I, love fact, dude, I love the fact I cracked up so hard in Deadpool 2 yeah. when he said that to uh yeah. To, oh yeah. I, that's I, right. That's a juggernaut. I was like, I started cracking up and I was oh, like, yeah. Peter that bursted oh, yeah. out laughing when he just flat out was like, his son's getting real low, big guy. I started cracking <laughs> up because and I don't think everybody caught the reference. And I was like, come on, guys. They just made a jab <laughs> at, at Age of Ultron. Yeah. Oh man, no. There were so many references in Deadpool too. I remember I went, I remember it was at the it was like the last day of school. I called my wife up and I was like, honey, can we catch like the 420? Can we just can we can we just go through the movie? I I I need a movie today. And I laughed my ass off. Oh man. So hard. So much so that like it's one of those where you look around and you go, Oh, I'm the only one who gets this joke. Okay, <laughs> yes, screw all you guys. No, no, I'm I laughing. That happens, but I mean no, that happened to me with the first one. The Limp Biscuit joke with the like I'm gonna do to you what Limp Biscuit <laughs> did to music in the nineties. Yeah. I died laughing at that. Oh, I, that man. killed me. And I just thought that was the best joke ever. And I looked around and I'm the only wacko because everybody else is like <laughs> laughing. 15 and shit. And I'm the like, only ah, <laughs> They're like no, limp rolling, rolling no. Okay, come right. on, you don't know this. Come on, <laughs> I know, and it, and it saddens me that it's like, are we going to see a Deadpool three? Is anything going to happen over there at Disney? It's like, that well, there's not anything happening there. anywhere right now, which really, is yeah, that's uh, very depressing. Is all Get Out? It It'll is be animated. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm still even wondering. Too, what were you going to say, Garza? No, no, Matt said animated <laughs> on Disney. Oh, no. that'd be funny. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, they they, they were going to have that animated Deadpool series from uh, um um what's his what's his name? Oh, Donald, uh, I can't think of his last name. <laughs> Jeez, we we all suck. Smith. Donald, yes. I don't know what. Sanchez Smith. Someone's gonna someone's gonna say it in their life. Tom? What? Right? Um, yes. His name? Lando. <laughs> John Donald. Lando. Oh, Donald Glover. Ah, Glover. Glover. Oh, okay. there it is. oh, that version. Yeah. I'm burning T. T. Williams. Oh, okay. <laughs> puff, puff, Pat. <laughs> when you mentioned 420, yeah. Scott, everybody started talking about 420. You said yeah, I know. Like, seriously. <laughs> so everybody was like, you know, immediately went to the, <laughs> that in the chat. I don't know if you if you noticed that, but um, uh, no, but I, I wonder what happened with that because that seemed like it was pretty like, hey, FX, Deadpool animated series donald glover i mean he's a crowd favorite i wonder why that fell apart I don't where know. was that going where was that with okay however or? okay here it is w wikipedia however in march 2018 fx networks announced that it was no longer moving forward with the series after marvel yeah. decided not that to pursue the version of the series that the glovers were creating so that oh, was Mar that was a marvel decision yeah that was that not an sense. fx decision yeah see mm. there it is not surprising huh. Jeez, man! It, wow. <laughs> it's so funny too because I mean, now that now that he could be incorporated with all these other characters, I mean, I would love to see him show up with Spider Man, even Tom Holland Spider Man. I mean, it'd be, I mean, you of course you can't make him drop f bombs stuff like that, but they could really do so much with him, like just showing up in other movies and breaking that fourth wall, and then you know, I mean, for God's sakes, I mean, ha, I mean, there's so many possibilities that you could do with Deadpool, obviously, and uh, I mean, if you're gonna dedicate a movie like that, he's gonna be in it, whether it be with Spider Man or whoever. Obviously, there's gonna be some humor and there's some fourth wall breaking, but I mean, why not? I mean, yeah, there's just so many. It just seems like. It seems like when it came to Ryan Reynolds finally getting his Deadpool, it was just a little too late because Hugh Jackman was already winding down. We all wanted to see a, a Wolverine in Deadpool. We're not going to see that, it doesn't seem. And then now, uh, now that Fox is with Disney and with the MCU, it's like, okay, but now fucking Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans are done. You know, we can't have Deadpool interact with them. So it's like all we have left would be Spider-Man, which he has interacted with him many times in the books. It's like... Okay, can we have that happen? But who knows what the hell they're going to be doing over there. That's what's frustrating. And it's just and the R rating. That's the problem that they're having. Just the because we can't do R. We can't this mm -hmm. Mickey Mouse Club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so it's like, so yeah, just bring Ryan Reynolds back to uh, Green Lantern, right? Right, Garza? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it, makes sense. it does make sense. Well, all I'm saying is. All I'm saying is, I feel like if, if if Zach were to include those kind of characters, a Green Lantern, or even a Ryan Cho, or or these, or even Martian Man, or shit, we don't know. But it gives it more of a 
some of these characters can die or get killed in in season two or season three and have more weight than all of them just living. You know what I mean? Like, there's going to have to be some death. And it can't just be like, okay, Superman died and that was it. You know what I mean? Like, does anybody else think? I mean, there's going to be some death. I mean, if Green Lantern's there, at least he could die. Ryan Reynolds could die and have Jon Stewart continue. It's very true. I mean, it's not like if if he were going to come back, it's not like he has to like, oh, we got to sign him up for eight eight movie deal or something like that. It could just be something that just is like kind of cool, kind of like, whoa, look at that. And it's something awesome. Sacrifice. Boom. Done. And then all of a sudden it's like, Jon Stewart's the the guy. Yeah. They haven't earned that death, Garza. You don't understand. He has to be in. <laughs> hey, all, in seven uh, movies first. hey, all I know is that when I hear Christopher Nolan like publicly saying, yeah, I'd like to see John David Washington as John yes. Stewart. And I'm just yes. like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Him or oh, Tenet, Rose, man. After watching Tenet? No, nah, I'm good. Oh, no, not, oh. Not, he, he wasn't the problem. He wasn't the problem. Uh, he was not for sure. The problem, I don't see. I don't have a problem with the movie. I love I the movie. So yeah, you know. yes, no. mm. actually, with uh, the real emotions review, my expectations were low, so I actually enjoyed the movie now. See, <laughs> my favorite. Yeah. I, I went. Yeah. I went in with my normal like Nolan expectations, and I was perfect. And I was perfectly pleased as punch with the movie walking uh, out of it. Really? Was, really? Uh, uh, yeah, yes. Did you see it, Matt? Did you see yeah. it? Did you just, yeah. You didn't, yeah. Like, it? You didn't I, like it? I just, I felt that first half felt so un-Nolan-ish. Thank you. Yeah. It, it oh, just, yeah, dude. The first half was, I, I oh, just, I, I, I feel like we're missing 15 minutes somewhere. I really yeah. do. <laughs> Release the I, Nolan cut. Yeah. 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 I don't know. But I, that's the thing, though, is like what, it's not like any studio is telling him what to do, right? Exactly. Right. No. At this point. No. At this point. So it's like, I just, I don't know. I just feel like there's like 15 minutes because I was like, I watched this may sound like a weird comparison, but I watched Inception before I went and saw that. Mm-hmm. And you, and it's kind of like a similar thing, you know, just weird shit. And then, you know, DiCaprio's characters explaining that stuff and, and they're walking through and it's just so paced well. And it's just you get in everything and everything's flowing well. And, and then Tenet, it just bouncing I, I between say, all these places so fast. I will say it sped up. Yeah. Pretty well. I was noticing that too. I'm like, mm, they're not really taking their time with this one. I, I mean, mm, I saw right. that too, but there was a lot. I mean, I don't know. I think the well, initial like uh, with the inversion stuff and then that final act really just was like, I was in awe of that final act with me. I, I think the trailer uh, didn't sell me the movie the way that <laughs> what, we, what I saw in the movie theaters, it uh, was nothing like the trailer to try to sell me the movie. For. Mm, and I know that, See, I completely and, disagree with you there, Ben. Okay. And uh, yeah, of course, because you, you you like this crappy movie, of course. So, oh, no. Screw oh, you, Everett. Oh, <laughs> so, screw you. you. <laughs> and and I feel like he tried to rehash uh like the best hits from Memento, but fail miserably by creating all these little I n- I, it feel niche. At one point, I'm like, okay, I get it. Inversion, stop it. Get me to the story. The uh, the main pro- the the protagonist will be like. There was not one point where I felt like, oh, he's in this location. He was like all over the world, but you never felt that he was in a different place. Like the only time was when he was in Mumbai. That was like, okay, he's in India. But then after that, you didn't like aesthetically. You didn't feel like he was anywhere different. There was no rain. There was no snow. There was no cold weather. Nothing to tell me there was a, in a different location. I have. Was I, have of- I have to walk away. I, I just. I'm gonna have to walk away for a second. <laughs> oh, he's, oh he's, 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 right. he's, he's well, gonna go and reload. Say, I'll just say this. Listen, listen. I'll just say this. The 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 characters, as far as like caring about him, or at least like I said, the emotion, like. There was literally zero emotion. It no, felt like I didn't care for that, though. it felt like no flat. I, felt like I didn't no care. Just went like this. I know he didn't care for it, but at the end of the day, it was like, why should I care for these characters? Like, what? Well, <laughs> why I, am I? I assume we're not talking about spoilers, right? No, no, no. We're not talking. We're no, not talking okay. spoilers. We're not talking about people that haven't seen it yet. But I mean, I mean, but yeah. if you actually go to IMDb and you go and you look at John David Washington's character's name, yeah, that a lot. There was not supposed to be any depth to him really at all. I think I that's know. that was my believe me, believe me, if that was what he was trying to do, it came across. Oh yeah. Very, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Literally. Well, 
trust. Shout All right, we got somebody else like joining right now. We got Nana from the Nerd Queens. What's no! up? <laughs> I had to come to support Meg. <laughs> I'm glad we got two girls in this episode because it's always a sausage fest here. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say it. I had to say it. You're in the middle. Some grand fuck slam. Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so how's it going, Nana? How you doing? Oh, good. Can't sleep. Self self isolation's a bitch. Yeah, oh, mm. yeah, that is a bitch. Yeah, what time is it over there right now? Um, it is five forty one a.m. Oh, Jesus shit. Christ, man. man! You know what? She I listen to you talking about Tenet, and I'm like mm -hmm. so pissed because I was supposed to go see it last week, right? I but know. I was flying from Czech on Monday. I was flying from Czechia on Monday. I had tickets for Tuesday, and I booked those tickets like 48 hours before I was flying. Then I turn on the news, and they're like, well, they're taking Czech Republic off the list of, of countries with a yeah. special exception, so you have uh, to go to self-isolation. Mm. So uh, <laughs> instead of seeing Tenet, I'm sitting at home for a second week now, but Monday is finally over, so I guess so. Uh, Go check it out. I mean, yeah. Well, overall, I mean, I mean, I, I, I totally understand your gripes. If you were looking for more in depth characters, about, I mean, I, but I, for me, it was just like I was like all about the time travel and the inversion stuff and how it all played together and how it all flowed. And I loved Pattinson's character. I thought he was like this. Meg, you haven't seen it yet, huh? No. No. Oh, damn. So, okay, well, yeah, well, we're not going to say spoilers because people in the live chat haven't seen it. But, uh, you know, but I just love that he was kind of like this wild card of like, what does he know? Does he know what's going on? Does he, you know, and then, you know, everything that happens with his character, too, was interesting. But, uh, yeah, I mean, but I could totally see your gripes. You know, there wasn't a lot of depth when you look at other Nolan films. I mean, I think, Garza, you made up, you came up with the point of like, this wasn't co-written by Jonathan Nolan. So. Oh, absolutely. I know. It was missing that element. And and I'll say this, and I, and and literally, you know, I know it's, it's kind of weird that my daughter is so into like the same stuff that I am. But, you know, she loves Westworld. She she can she can understand Westworld. She can understand the complexity of it. She can understand the complexity of of Inception, and she gets everything in there. And my, I mean, even though Inception was written by Nolan himself, that wasn't Jonathan. She still mm -hmm. can understand the ideas and the concepts of, of Westworld and all that. And so. When she was watching Tenet, not only did she call it a month ago, she called it before we even like started the film. And as the film's going, she's like, "Yeah," she keeps calling it out, and I'm like, "Dude!" <laughs> like, I, I, no disrespect to my daughter, like I, I, I feel like I've meowed her enough to where she can understand Aww. like complicated things. But dude, she was calling it out in the simplest of terms, like, "Yeah, this is gonna happen." Uh, yeah, and as soon as it was about to happen, she's like, I "Told you." And I'm like, Damn. dude, Nolan, like, come on, Nolan, like, what are you doing, man? Like, you don't have any kind of, you know, it, like, I had to explain to her, you know, uh, Interstellar. Let's put it that way. Like, I had, in, you know, explain it to her, like that, that ending. And like I had said, if I were to spoil it, which I'm not, but if I were to spoil the ending for Tenet versus if I were to spoil the ending for Interstellar, it's completely two different things. You're, you're, you're pissed off at Interstellar, well, and you're going. I can't believe that you, you know that happened. Whereas with Tenet, you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> I, well, like at the end of Tenet, without really spoiling anything, there is like, I don't know. I, I, I mean, never mind. I won't say it. I just, I just, <laughs> I'm trying not to spoil anything. But there's, just, to say, there's just, there's just some things that are hinted at that how yeah. the story is being told. I actually feel yeah. like there's a better story. I hate to say this because people always say that about certain movies that there's a better story that is hinted at in the movie that I feel like would have been a better way to tell this story than, um, mm -hmm. than, uh, than the way they even, did anyway. Even the motive, like when I, <laughs> when the main guy said, well, this is why I'm doing this. I'm like, really? That's the reason why you wanted this <laughs> dude all over? <laughs> like this is not this is still going on yes, really okay. <laughs> that's that's what it is we all need to watch it again meg and nana need to watch it for the first yeah. we all need to just watch it again now that How we the know fuck am i supposed to watch it i was say she's in michigan she doesn't have all right a Every, everything is open but movie theaters that's crazy uh, i can wow. go i can go to the fucking strip club right 
But I can't. <laughs> nice. I can't so you could you could shove you could shove dollar bills and some some. I could get titties kit. in my face before yeah. I can go to the tenant. Oh, you go to that one. Huh? Nice. Well, that's not necessarily a bad thing, though. <laughs> I mean, what did you say, I know, but I want to see Robert Pattinson so bad. Yeah. <laughs> Teddy's Robert Pattinson. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, I don't know. Uh, they, they both can sparkle at one point. Um, so, <laughs> um, um, okay, so we can get off the whole tenant thing. I mean, I think, you know, when it comes to Nolan films, so yeah, I mean, um, I, 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 like I said, I understood what you said, guards. It was like, okay, Jonathan wasn't there. And it seemed like the ones that they co-wrote together, there is a lot more like with the characters and everything. Yeah. I totally, I totally under, understand it. Cause Dunkirk, same thing, but I, I respected that with Dunkirk. I'm like, okay, if, when it comes to Dunkirk, you have like this scenario where you just, you have these characters that are just trying to survive. Who cares about their backstory? <laughs> They're just trying to get to the fucking end of this, man. You know, that's what I liked yeah. about that movie was the fact that they just was like, it was no holds bar get to where you need to get to and then that's it none of this like you know they tell a story and then it flashes back to something you know um but uh so yeah i i do i i i could see that i could see that because i mean overall i mean my 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 i think it'll always be my favorite nolan movie is memento like his not his first movie technically you know his second but the first <laughs> one that put him on the map yeah and i just i don't know i just love that movie just because the way it's structured and I, to me, that's almost it's like a perfect movie in it my is. eyes because the way the it's it's told so unlinear and but linear at the same time. He even explains like that. He, yeah, but people like say like, oh yeah, they say it's unlinear because it's going backwards, but in a way, it's very linear. And I'm like, yeah. And then when he explained it using like a a, a paperclip way, yeah. I remember yeah. there's a video about that. Blew my mind because I was like, yes. I mean, that is what makes that story <laughs> so unique. And that's why it'll probably always be my favorite, just because I remember when I first watched it. I mean, I, I got so inspired. I wrote a fucking script in like a week just oh, because of that. Yeah. Nice. That I, I, was, I remember I was, in, let me ask you something, I was in Bath, England when I saw that for the first time. And I was five Guinnesses in on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> that's how I watched that movie. Nice. Wow. That's been trippy. So let me ask you something, Dave. When you, watch, uh, when you watch that movie, how many times uh, did he, he exposed something in that it was a callback to something that happened before? And you were like, oh, that's why. How yeah. many times did you do that? Yeah, you did it many, a lot of times. When when he first, multiple I mean, times. I remember but, when somebody somebody asked me like, "What what's the movie that you would want to watch fresh again? Like, if you could have a movie mm -hmm. wiped out of your brain, what would you want to?" I'm like, "Memento," yes. because because when you watch that, you're with him. You don't know what the hell happened exactly. that previous time, and that's why that movie is so like you know, it's just so great. I mean, but I could still watch it even knowing what happened, just just to respect the way that he tells the story, where the audience is also like, "What the fuck happened before this?" You're also with guy with a uh, guy Pierce going. What the hell? What happened before this? You know, and the way it just kind of meets up because you have like the two different stories of him and that just meet up together with like this twisty ending. You're like, oh my god, you know. So I don't know. That's yeah, why but, I just absolutely love that story. But yeah, it, it, about that. it was right. perfectly executed because even, oh, even yeah. stuff like when he was gonna drink the the beer. You yeah. know, you already know what happened. Like, don't drink it. Like, you know, you have to be like, oh my god, it's gonna. Like, you you got engrossed in the movie. That's yeah. why I didn't get from Tenet. Sorry, I still oh, no, gotta bring it's it. Fine. Up. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> but uh, I, I guess we should talk a little bit about a uh, DC fandom tomorrow. I mean, I know oh, that thing happening. Yeah, I know. We're all not as excited <laughs> as. Yeah, the hype level just isn't it's not there, there for it's it. It's not there. I totally understand. It, um, it was already. It was already done back in at the end of july what what's yeah. there to be like what's new you know what i mean exactly i know we had we had justice con and we had yeah. of course uh dc fandom so I, I think we're all i think we're all drained we're all just like we're good for a bit you know but uh yeah. but i wanted to ask the ladies uh how does it feel okay. like a month or so yeah and, and you matt uh, <laughs> how, does <it> <laughs> how does it feel after all this time like after justice con how, how are you guys feeling i mean obviously you guys have uh, a little bit more fame and a little bit more attention like how does it how does it feel after like what has it been like a month month and a half i can't even remember now. everything falls to a month and a half <laughs> month and a half it's with covid I, I don't even know time anymore yeah. You know, it seems like forever ago, but in the same time, yeah. it seems like yesterday. I mean, yeah. we still are getting like thank you messages, which is yeah. insane. 
like just the other day we just got like amazing work on just this con and this stuff which i was like okay thanks <laughs> so yeah now i mean i i don't even know how to react at this point but it, it's really nice like the the reactions were so overwhelmingly positive like you had some of that negative stuff right at the beginning but after that it was mostly positive and yeah Hey, okay. I'm just gonna say thank you to all of you ladies and Cole for my for my prize pack that came in like a week ago. I appreciate it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ooh, what was in that? Oh, I had I got a I got a Justice Con tote bag, a Ooh. Justice Con mask, I got a I got both a Nerd Queen sticker and a Justice Con sticker pack. And I got one of those big it was like this weird cloth material, but uh Justice yeah, Con it's poster yeah it's it's like wow. a poster but you can you can actually take it off and you can tape it on your wall like a whole thing wow. didn't he say it was a, a fat head decal or something like that no, yeah like it was fat. something like that yeah yeah, yeah. That's and i think cool. the i think the posters that were on sale the ones that were like of the logo that nemo made those are made the same way as like yeah. decals so if you guys got them if anyone in the chat got them they should come in as decals uh, so you can you will be able to kind of tape them on a wall, sort of. Oh. Cool. I do like uh, from Justice Con the uh, the clip of him talking about that he would set anything that he doesn't. Uh, <laughs> uh, doesn't you know fire. how hard it I, was to keep a straight face on well, that. I couldn't. I couldn't. I laughed. Like, we did I not laugh. Oh, is, it, is it your laugh? Because I have yeah, made a clip it's, now it's, and I use it in like half our videos. And it's every a, time he says it, there's a little giggle in the back. And so I've heard it so man. many times, whoever this giggle is, and I'm assuming it's you, Meg. It's probably yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> But it's, it, it's, it's funny because I was telling him before, just before that I was telling him that we're going to ask this because I yeah. had a feeling that when, when the movie or obviously series comes out, there will be a question, you know, did he use Justice League scenes? And I know that he's not going to use them. I knew yeah. that before I asked, yeah. but I was like... I'm going to ask this just so that we have this when all these questions and statements come in. Yeah. I did not expect this answer, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> what I don't the beauty think... is, is that now all of us, between the uh, – uh, everyone on this screen has had interactions with Zach now. Yeah. And we, by the way, we are all in uh, Doc Awkward's latest Mosaic episode. Oh, what? Are we? what? Because uh, the Roundtable and the Justice Con – have been sampled and clipped out when <laughs> nice. when Doc did his analysis of the uh, fandom trailer. There it is. Uh, Cheers, nice. guys. Cheers. <laughs> Later, right? Good success. It's my morning coffee to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever you have. Is this my morning? Yeah, let's not talk about that. Okay. <laughs> that's, what, that's what wakes you up. We get it. No, but uh, no. I mean, it, it, it's it's it, when, when you when you guys ask that question and he just went off. I mean. Obviously, he wasn't going to do that at DC Fandom. He wasn't going to do that on Grace Randolph's, you know, interview. I mean, he, it seemed like when Justice Con became a thing, it was like going to be his way of just like, hey, all this pimped up crap that he's been yeah. thinking about for like the last three, four years, five years, who knows how long. He was just going to say it. And the fact that he just went off like that, talking about not you, and he'll burn the fucking thing. He was dropping it. <laughs> I was like, the fucking I think fact. All yeah, we were all collectively just like, yes, we were all just yelling at our TVs or computer screens or phone screens, just like, yes, yes, you know. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't expect him to be so honest, like with that <laughs> stuff, like just dropping f bombs and stuff, like because okay. we we had talked to him a few times, like obviously when we were planning it, and uh, I don't know, I just didn't expect any of that at all. Yeah, well, so you know, but it's it's, I mean. Sorry, Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, I was just gonna say I, I'd expect him to be as like you know how okay, so he answered you know those questions, but he also knew those questions. So for him to answer the questions that we were all asking him as mm -hmm. as kind of straightforward and just easy to, to answer, I wasn't expecting that either. Like he's he's so like he can understand how to how to gauge like <laughs> the answer. It's yeah. kind of remarkable. Mm. Well, that's, I mean, that's his planned answer. That was his planned answer. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean, the thing for us was, I mean, when we were speaking to I'm um, Zach and and even you know Ray and and Jay and whoever, we were just like, you know, this is 
this is your your place your yeah. platform you know that was like the important thing for us when we were inviting them to kind of tell them this is your platform you can tell us whatever the heck you want uh, if you say this is of the table, this is of the table. If you say you want to speak about this, that's what we will speak about. And that's mm -hmm. how we did it. I mean, even before the panels, when we spoke with Zach and with Ray Fisher, um, we did not know how exactly they're going to answer. No, not at uh, all. We, we, <laughs> did, we did like speak before that about, are you okay talking about this? Or, you know, is mm -hmm. this something that... And with Zach, Zach was pretty clear about what he wants to speak about. And then we threw in, you know, questions we want to ask. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, he knew ahead of time, you know. And it's like a lot of people I saw that would imagine like questions like, is Batfly coming back and all that oh stuff. Oh my like, God. Nobody's going to answer you that. No, even if they could. <laughs> um, so. Well, I mean, he. I mean, on, on the one that we talked to him about, I mean, when we talked about Batfly, he was like, I had no idea he was going to show yeah. up in a Flash movie. I don't fucking, you know, yeah. didn't know any of that stuff. So, And yeah. it, it's just like, you know, and I mean, people kept spamming about Green Lantern and something with us. Um, I know that you guys <laughs> spoke about it too, but it's oh, like, yeah, we, we it, it was, yeah. chat was full of it. And it was like, okay, I'm going to ask him just so that I entertain you. Of right, course he yeah. didn't say anything. Yeah. Because it, it's just like, you know, that, but yeah, anyway, so we spoke to them before that and it was always about you know this is your platform you can you can say whatever the fuck you want and yeah. i think that that pretty much went well yeah yeah <laughs> and very the past right. went very well and of course uh, hopefully justice con 2 happens next year that'll be a lot of fun eh, think, think about it oh uh, yeah <laughs> think about yeah, it. Like, you know what i'm going to do my own thing you, yeah, make you mean to tell me you don't want the clout <laughs> Hey, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Meg, Meg, Meg is grossed out. She got enough cloud already. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Keep it. Like, yeah, yeah. You can never have enough our, our cloud bucks. No, not at all. No, but uh, yeah, no, it's cloud coin, okay? Cloud coins, yeah. Get it right, man. Oh, okay. Somebody needs to make some of those. Yeah. yeah. Somebody hmm. should. Hmm. Who can make some of those? But uh, anyways, when it comes to uh, tomorrow, yeah, I mean, it's... It is kind of weird because it's like, you know, there's something that is happening tomorrow, but I'm kind of like, I'm just going to wake up and uh, go online and just kind of click things because it's not going to be like it was last time. It's not going to be like a continuous little show thing. You can actually just click on whatever the hell you want. I mean, I'm looking forward to hearing some Junky XL Snyder Cut, yeah. you know, yeah. music that we'll probably hear. What Anybody? time does that one start? I think it's all it's all just on there at ten. It's right? on demand. It's everything. Yeah. Is, everything is just click. Yeah. It's basically like if Comic Con at home, which you ladies absolutely destroyed. Yeah. Uh, if if, <laughs> yeah. if Comic Con at home had just been, they just dropped everything at one time, and you just got to walk around and click on whatever you want. I think it it all starts at one o'clock Eastern. Twi a noon central yeah. Watch, and then it's just from, from well it's for me for central time it's like noon yeah. to noon and you can just access anything and everything within that 24 hour period uh, there yeah. it is well, that so I mean it's only two minutes I mean, <laughs> I know, it's just it's kind two of minutes. disappointing when I'm like I saw the uh, the yeah, mute part and I was like do, hmm. for like the, uh, the rest of the other minute like if your mic didn't suck so much, Garza, that would have hit harder. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. It's fine. Uh, sorry. <laughs> no, but uh, I don't know if you guys are looking forward to anything else. That's what about. else is there? <laughs> I mean, Batman stuff that I'm like, okay. yeah, there's some stuff, some Batman stuff. Uh, well, I look behind the music and uh, the, the, the sign in the Batmobile that looks interesting. Yeah. And Harley Quinn asked Harley, Harley Qu Quinn. yeah. The I only mean, thing I'd be careful uh, about Garza that designing the Batmobile that was actually like. A, there's a lot of stuff on this fandom day that are like special features from DVD and Blu-ray releases. Oh. So that designing the Batmobile, I think, was from the Batman it? Begins DVD. Yeah. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. Or that's the Bat. Oh, that's the BVS one. Like that's the one about yeah. building the Snyder yeah. Batmobile. It shows, but it shows, again, 
BVS Batmobile. So well, then it, but it was on the BVS home release. Like some of these are like special right. feature documentaries that they're yeah. um, recycling. Yeah, but is it is it only going to be uh, his Batmobile, or is it? Oh, they're going to show Ash Thorpe uh, Batmobile for uh, the Batman movie coming up. Uh, they're going to show. Yeah. My understanding of what I looked at, it looks like it's just previous. Like, the mm. previous one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not worth my time, man. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep in tomorrow. Yeah, okay. yeah I know. It, yeah, it's nothing to be like, you know, to hurry up and get to like, like it was last month. I mean, last month it was just, it was like Christmas because we knew yeah. we were getting so much, and we got like we got fed like so well. Where all of us were like unbuttoning, you know, our 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 pants, or if you were wearing pants, but uh, yeah, yeah. I was, <laughs> for sure when it, when all that stuff was happening, but. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, there's some Q and A stuff. There's some Q and A with uh with uh Muschietti that's actually happening. That's gonna be pretty cool. There's a a fan Q and A with the the crew, the cast and crew from uh, Shazam as well. So I mean, there's some interesting stuff, with, like Q and A stuff that we can see even even with the uh, Suicide Squad also happening too on the Uverse side of it. So well, I'm hoping they don't ask, like ask weird off wall questions like, like what 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 who's Eddie's favorite Spider-Man? Your favorite huh. Spider-Man. Oh <laughs> my god. Yeah. Uh, what? You don't want to know that, Chris? Come on. No, I don't care. <laughs> no. <laughs> but there's there's a big one was uh Matt, are you okay, Matt? You okay? Matt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's oh man, I remember uh, <laughs> look into the production design and that has like Patrick Totopoulos. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, there might be some little surprises in there, hopefully, but I mean, they're not going to get any trailers, I don't think. So yeah. I'll uh, be honest. One of them I'm looking forward to is this uh, "A League of One," the Dwayne McDuffie story. I really want to check that yeah, out. What What is that supposed to be exactly about? Well, it's just it's kind of because you know McDuffie passed away, yeah. so it's it's going to be because he was there for the creation of Milestone, and then he went and was a major part of uh, the DC animated stuff with like Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. So I'm, I think he was just such an incredibly talented writer that I'm just like. You're curious about. Uh, I, I just want to. I want to learn more about him because I think you know he he was like a co-creator of Static and all of that stuff. So it's just like it's one of those creators that I just want to delve into more. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Yeah, yeah, that'll be interesting. And then, I mean, you got Batman: The Joker War. That sounds like something I'd be curious in. But and then, of course, you got three Jokers. <laughs> eh, who's including that one. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's somebody named Jason Fabach. Uh, some other good. guy, some other guy named Geoff too. I don't know. I don't. That's a weird. Yeah. Geoff. <laughs> yeah. Geoff. My name is Jay. I heard of a name called Geoff. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and I feel so bad because Jason's art is so good. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. So I mean, it. That, I just kind of wonder. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that Johns is, you know, gonna be there. Everything's gonna be, you know, he'll be there. But it's just, it's gonna be interesting to see the the reception to all this stuff. <laughs> well. But it's even weird to say he'll quote be there because, yeah. like Garza pointed out, the, these things were pre-recorded yeah. like two months ago. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> so look, not, not everybody can pull it off live, okay? <laughs> hey! <Ooh. laughs> Shot fired. The shade. <laughs> drop it right there but uh yeah i mean it, it'll be interesting to see some of the stuff but yeah it's just yeah the hype level is just not where it was last time which makes not sense even close. not even close but uh i mean it'd be, it'd be pretty cool if like you know <laughs> they just did something snyder was just like hey i got another little clip for you guys and matt reeves like hey you want to see robert pattinson kick another guy's ass cool yes. I'm for you jesus christ oh man oh, oh my god we, we were in the same room at the same time uh, him and aisha they weren't they were oh, you could, like you could no. tell that no, they were yeah. The oh yeah you could yeah when she's just like oh my god ha 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 and then looking over it's like and yeah then, like hey well you know it's like come on you guys aren't you know it's it was all recorded the yeah. Reshoot, man. yeah yeah <laughs> it, was straight, it was all directed by joss whedon yes <laughs> but you know what? It. it was it was pre-recorded but at least the way that they had it set up i mean the whole graphics and everything yeah, it was nice it was. like when you look at Comic Con at home, because even though we were busy that weekend, like afterwards, I, I did check stuff. Like they didn't even, you well, know, they didn't give it anything really. It was just that's true. Like there was nothing. Even so, those little clips to segue into the next segments were amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they. It was it was it was nicely done. You know, even though it was pre-recorded, like at least you could say, okay, they pre-recorded it, but they 
they did stuff with it you know they they mm -hmm. made the graphics they made it you know nicely blend into each other and everything was really cool like when you watched it you just felt like you're watching something at least close to live even though it wasn't live live well be well but, because it uh, because you weren't clicking play on individual videos like it was yeah. going if you yeah. missed it you like you missed it mm -hmm. like uh, uh, until the like the next the, encore well, the next encore so there was that sense of you had to be there yeah. and yeah. so that i mean that was about as live as you could be without being actually and it, and it set the bar. It really just it, it just set the bar right there because now everybody else is like, hey, we're gonna have our own fandom. We got an HBO mm -hmm. fandom yeah. that's gonna happen, and just you know, there's a lot of fan. I mean, it just when it comes to like a virtual con, they really just were like, this is how it's done, guys. I mean, I mean and, and the people that were complaining, like, oh, it's only like 20 minutes, what the hell? And everything they're like, it's too, it should be an hour, it should be an hour. I'm like, no, it was perfectly like Perfect. it was tight, and tight, and it was just it just float and you know what i was saying that i was saying that to people that like told this to me and i'm like you know cole and i we go to whole age every year when san diego is happening and i feel like people have a little bit of a dreamy idea about what's happening in whole age like that the panels yeah. are super long or stuff oh. like that but the truth is warner brother puts up a panel that's two two and a half hours long depends what they've got and each movie has about 20 to like 15 to 20 minutes. There yeah. is no more of that. So you mm -hmm. actually got pretty much what you get when you go to Hall H in San Diego. Mm -hmm. That's what the Warner Brothers panel would look like. Literally like this. There would be a little bit of a Q&A, a little bit of an interview with the cast and crew. And mm -hmm. then there would be a trailer and that's it. You won't get much more if you go to Hall H in San Diego. If you go to the other conventions or, you know, to other panels outside of Hall H, yes, you do get an hour long panels, but those panels look more like what we did at Justice Con, where you don't get as much of new info and trailers and stuff. You just get the talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of people have really confusing ideas about what conventions are. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it, it does make sense. And then, you know, what was nice about it, too, is like, hey, we didn't have to wait out, you know, in a line out in the heat, you know, for, I don't know, a half a day or whatever the hell. I know, like, <laughs> oh, that would be easy. Yeah. <laughs> two days, two days for all age. Oh, oh God. Yeah, I mean, as much as like, I mean, and we were all planning. I mean, Garza was planning on going. I was planning on going. I know you guys, uh, Megan, uh, Nana, and also Ben was planning on going yep. uh, to Tom Thomas. Yeah, we were all well, planning. That would be going. one hell of a party. God damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> party. It definitely would have been. Oh, yeah. But at the same time, it's like, you know, but I'm like, I'm like, I hate crowds. <laughs> I'm like, well, we were like, we yeah. yeah, ben would have. Uh, you know what? You know what? I do ben too, but. Behind. What? Like, Garza? <laughs> Change the channel four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not even gonna talk anymore, man. I'm gonna leave. No, 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 no. That's, awesome. no. that's a first. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. No, I think but, he's uh, in the upside down. Uh, what's he saying? Yeah, no. no. No, me and Ben were actually going to be covering it as far as press is concerned. So we would have, yeah. I don't know if we would have so was been in line. But so I. Hell yeah. Okay, yeah, so. We all would have had press badges. Right? Nice. That would have been nice, man. Yeah. Uh, you'd still have to wait in line. <gasps> yeah, San no, Diego I, I always. Like that, just but... like all of a sudden they're like, oh, yeah, your press will come this way. Ha ha. Yeah. They, dude, like, <laughs> nice little seat and everything now you're still gonna have to wait and everything and i was not looking forward to that really? in new york they like they send you like they even walk you to the front of the line i remember that yeah. i went to see wow. i went to uh i went to see um a boys meets world and there's a guy that he oh. comes in, yeah yeah he come in he he came came and greeted us and i was with my kids and my kids didn't have badges like are they with you like yeah they're with me and they're like okay right this way mr everett and they're like they brought me all the wow. way to the front of the line and, they, uh, and there was a velvet rope. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah from, so. from what I understood, you don't get like go to the front of the line kind of thing. But essentially, press has its own 
obviously area. said of amount of people who are let in so the sooner you come the more likely you're to get in but i don't really know how the how the cues are on that or stuff like i just i just know that they don't you know but i mean i don't like crowds either but san diego's fun yeah i yeah. I, I do enjoy it i mean even though i have to sleep on the sidewalk for two nights <laughs> out of five i do enjoy it <laughs> see i know that part i'm like mm. but i mean yeah i get it i mean it's the experience of it all and i yeah do. it's the part of it yeah like, i just wonder is I, it gonna happen again is that gonna happen again i hope so because mm. i got tickets for it yeah same, what the fuck? <laughs> i mean i mean i was like watching um like a couple weekends ago i was watching like the 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 metallica concert that was uh that you can rent the uh the, the one they did with the san francisco symphony and, and they're in san francisco and there's you know auditorium you know and it's just like it's closed in it's not like a huge place but i'm like going is this ever gonna happen again like are we gonna be able to do that ever again and it's just like i don't know i was just too busy thinking about that and not enjoying the concert <laughs> i was like too busy dwelling on that because I, I like going to concerts and i like you know all of that but it's like i just kind of wonder i mean even when i don't know when you guys went to the movie theater like Matt, when you went to the movie theater, <laughs> full on mask, was it weird for you? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you usually go with a mask. You know? uh, no. <laughs> no, 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 it was, I mean, yeah, you had to wear a mask, but like they're not like hardcore on it here. It's Nevada, man. We're home of the free. You're in California, son. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. That's why I no. want to move out of California. Fucking A, man. And I want but we're getting all your smoke. God damn, I'm dying over here. Jesus man. Christ, I'm sorry about that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and reveal party. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Well, because no, now no. you live in Blade Runner 2049. I know. Seriously, it, it, it has felt like that. Like, uh, yeah, uh, I'll go out. Like, I remember, I think it was yesterday when we, I, I went out for my little break and we, you know, a couple of my coworkers to go for a walk. And it was just like, yeah, you could literally just without sunglasses, look at the sun because wow. it's just because all the haze and the smoke. Wow. We got red suns over here. Yeah. Yeah. We're fucking on Krypton and shit. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No superpowers for anybody. Um, no, no. I saw the video. Somebody po posted a video from like San Francisco, and they put the Blade uh, or Blade Runner twenty forty nine score over it. And it was creepy as all shit. It was like the, it, it, it looked like exactly that. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's all what, from a gender reveal party. Yes, well, one, one of them was. God, one of them was. There's like three fires. There's literally three fires that happened. One in like San Diego area, one literally like uh, probably about 15 minutes that way. And then there was one that way. And I think the one that was like that way, like closer to L.A. was the gender reveal party. But the yeah, all the others, I don't even know how they started. I don't know. But it's just it's stupid. It's stupid. It sucks. Imagine growing up as the kid who had a gender reveal party for themselves in the oh, culture man. wild thing. <laughs> Wait, you're the guy. You're the guy that You're burned, that kid. Yeah, who well, burned 120,000 acres. Well, they were talking, and all those uh, <laughs> articles are talking about how those people are going to be responsible for a lot of the damages. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, way to wow. bring that kid into the world and be in crippling debt for having to take <laughs> care of kid. all, because you just had to have a <laughs> fancy yeah. way. I'm going to have to sell the baby. So <laughs> oh no <laughs> terrible but yeah, uh, uh bad but, joke. Bad yeah. joke. <laughs> <laughs> they will make okay, an interesting right. listing on craigslist i know right <laughs> yeah. want a baby it's that one baby that you know yeah. no but uh yeah <laughs> uh, so, you, so yeah so in uh in nevada you guys are getting all that right that's what you said. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, no, yeah. It's, we had our own fire for a little bit there. That coming from California. That's right you know, on the border. Yeah, it almost went over. We had fire tornadoes. It was awesome. What? <laughs> oh, I saw that. My, yeah, my dad, my dad lives. Nevada. My dad lives right on the California Nevada border, and it was right there. It was right. You could see it from his back door. And the flames were coming over the hill, but they weren't coming over the highway, so they kind of detoured around. And I was like, oh, thank God they didn't hit my dad's house because, yeah, that would suck. His house burns down, but that dude has so much gunpowder. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. And, and so that would have that would have looked like a fireworks show if that would have got anywhere near his garage. Wow, that's crazy. That's and, some uh, biblical yeah. shit, man. Seriously. It almost seems like, it's like I mean, it's only on the West Coast. I mean, no, none of you guys. I mean, where you guys are at? I ain't got no fires here. I know you don't get any fires. You're in Michigan, and then in Jersey, in Alabama. You don't get any fires, right? 
No, no, no that's not that's not a thing. I get pollen, I get mosquitoes, no. I get tornadoes, no. I don't get fires. You get you get the sweltering fucking uh heat, that sweltering swamp ass heat. Oh, it's, oh, I will say it's cliche. It's not the heat, it's the humidity. Humidity, that's what I This the humidity. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, like like you guys know, I was born there and I did live there for about two or three years. So like, you know, while while I was born, we left, Ben came back. So I did spend a couple summers there. And yeah, and it's horrible. And my dad was there too, and I went to visit him. I mean, it's it's horrible. I mean, I I, I could handle the dry heat and even like over here in California, I, Matt, you probably got this too. I mean, it got humid for a bit there like recently with that recent heat wave did you guys hit get any humidity um sort of i mean technically we're in a desert here yeah Ren reno's considered a desert so we don't the humidity is pretty it's pretty dry over here but what happens when you get really high heat because of the rivers and all the shit we got here in tahoe it causes rain so we ended yeah. up getting a lot of uh, summer rainstorms and stuff like that because of all the, the ev evaporation and shit and stuff from the heat and everything. So, yeah. And the Truckee River gets down to like a piddle, like this raging river and shit like that it gets down to nothing because of the heat here and all the crap. So, yeah, it's good times, man. It's good yeah, times. Sounds good. Yeah. Times. <laughs> no, I but mean, it, I only get rain. There is no other. I was about to say, you're over there. Anything, just, there's rain, only rain. Overcast, <laughs> rain and overcast. Look at that. I know. That's the way it's been looking over here, man. It's been looking I'm like just, I'm, over here. By the way, Dave, I'm going to totally admit something that I admitted on the Real in Motion show. Uh, one of my selfish reasons for sending you that copy was to give me excuse to buy this a new, new copy. A new copy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I can't wait to read it. Like I said, but uh, um, when it comes to the trailer, uh, Meg, what'd you think of the trailer? Um, okay. I have literally zero idea what's going on but i'm so fucking excited for it <laughs> i hope i can read the book before it comes out i mean obviously i probably will who knows yeah because who knows out. when it's gonna come out yeah no nope. um but i didn't under i didn't really understand why everyone loves that what's his name timothy chalamet or whatever oh, no, he's like he's a kind but of thing. now i do so. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you didn't watch that movie where him and um <clears throat> army hammer were like i you know, did oh call me by your name yeah that's an awesome yeah. uh, i heard uh, <laughs> no my favorite one with him was in greta gerwig's um little women yes. where he played, where he played yeah, Lori. I yeah i didn't see it um I saw him in uh he the was king. He's in uh, the king. The king. Yes. I need to see that, the king. I, it's so oh, he, good. Yeah. Wasn't he also in Greta? Uh, what's her last name? He was in Lady Bird. Lady, Lady Bird. Bird. Yes, he was also oh, in Lady yeah. Bird. Yeah, he was like like the cool kid that smoked and you know yeah. sat on the yeah that guy. But I mean, I uh, I know some people are like I, I saw people in my timeline. Why do why 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 do girls think he's like some heartthrob? And I'm like, I don't know. He looks like he's 13. Horrible. I, yeah, I'm like, eh, you know, and then even with like that movie that he was in with Army Hammer, I was, it was a little uncomfortable because it was like, wait a minute, like so yeah. you know, and I'm like, there was, I mean, I could go off on a whole little rant about like things I didn't like. I mean, I, I can understand why people like that movie because it was like, you know, it was something different. It was, uh, yeah, what? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> say it, just say it. There's no. some doesn't he fuck a peach in that movie? Did he fuck a peach in that? Yes, movie? he did, didn't he? I don't remember that part. <laughs> anybody? Anybody watch That's that movie? Wrong. I've only seen it one time. That part, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. It was just James it, and the Giant Peach. Huh? Yeah, I don't I don't know. Know. I'm not sure. I wanna. No, I, I, guess, I, I only think of apple pie when I think of people fucking. I know. Out, though. Yeah. No, Which, come on. That that's reasonable. That's reasonable. Yeah, it's a more, peach. I a peach it's I don't know. Way she's actually googling it now. What do you put in a Google search for right? this thing? Like, uh, oh man. <laughs> anyway, besides the point, he's a good actor. He's a good actor. He's a very yeah, good actor. Is. I just yes. saw like I, I I saw somebody question like, why do like people think he's a heartthrob? I'm like, I really don't know. He looks like he's like. 13 years old he's like a skinny dude you know but he's a good actor so that's that's really that's all i'm looking for when it, when it comes to him and it seems like he's gonna lead this movie pretty well what do you think of the trailer nana i think it was awesome yeah i mean it's it's been a it's been a while since i read dune actually um and i read it in check so 
I have this little thing where I was a bit confused, but um, yeah, I that that's that's the thing. But anyway, yeah, no, I, I really liked it. I'm excited for it whenever it comes out. I don't think it has a date, does it? No, it does not. No, Nothing has a date. <laughs> that's true. Nothing even Wonder date. Woman has Wonder a date. Woman has it's a not oh my god! Don't even date. start me on this, okay? Oh, we, we, oh no! Well, let's start. <laughs> How many, oh, how many no. changes have there been for Wonder Woman now? Like six? Six, yeah. Six. six. They, they should have exactly left it. They the... should have left it in 2019. I know. We would have already had it. It would have been on video already. They would have been working on like the spinoff or the sequel. Yeah. yeah no, I don't, Brent I... compared it. It has the exact, right now, it has the exact same amount of date changes as New Mutants. Oh, oh no. my lord. Yeah, that's, not, that's a bad comparison that to make. So yeah, that's very bad. Bad. Yeah, but he proved it. There's a tweet out there at Brintech Prime, and yeah. you, it lines up. It's uh, oh yeah, that's not good. Yeah, I still haven't seen New Mutants, but I'm like, oh, scared. Uh, it's like at this point, at this point, like it, it's not gonna be the success they wanted it to be. Nope. At this point, no, no chance. Well, I mean, uh, one of the things that I brought up like today on my my you know when I tweeted about it, and then of course on my video too was like, you know what what. I'm I'm surprised that VR companies aren't like trying to like capitalize on the whole like home theater like experience. Like you put on a VR headset, you you cover your ears and you have like that setting of like, oh, I'm in a movie, I'm watching an IMAX. I'm surprised there hasn't been more of that in like streaming services aren't trying to capitalize on it. Like, hey, you know, like if you don't want to go to the movies or you can't go to the movies, hey, guess what? We have a VR ticket or whatever the hell we have a vr feature where you can literally just lock it into your stuff and feel like you're actually at a a movie theater i mean and of course it's not gonna feel exactly like it but i'm just surprised there hasn't been like like a company that's capitalized on it okay but you... like can you imagine Zack snyder's justice league in it oh my god sure i could Maybe. yeah <laughs> I, I, would, I would want i almost wonder dave has something to do with the fact that that i feel like that technology has been kind of like a it's been a niche. It's yeah. been kind of a it, it's novelty it, almost. Yeah, yeah. It's novelty, a flash in the pan. Like yeah. it, it popped up and then it, you know, it, it was kind of like 3D TVs. Well, it yeah. popped up and it kind of went away. Was, yeah, you know, I, I totally agree with that because it was always it was always something like, you know what's funny? Is last weekend I went, I dove deep. I think it was on HBO Max. I watched Lawnmower Man. Remember the Lawnmower Man? Yeah. I mean, that was all about like VR, you know, mm -hmm. you have Pierce Brosnan trying to help this, you know, challenged dude who was, <laughs> it's always funny when you like the challenge, you know, he immensely, he's mentally challenged, but the dude's like good looking and ripped. I mean, it's it was, Matt, it was Matt Fuhrer. Yeah. Was, yeah. I'm like, yeah. he's a good looking dude and he's ripped. I'm like, how was that? But he's wearing suspenders and his hair is shaggy. So, you know, yeah. So it's like, it's, it's obviously you're going to buy it, but, but I mean, but I just, I dove deep and I'm like, man, I haven't watched that movie forever. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to put it on. And I mean, it, it totally like when it came to like the nineties, they thought like virtual reality was going to be like the future. It was going to be the thing. And here we are in 2020 going like anybody older, anybody have a virtual reality headset? Anybody? Okay. I got a call back for you talking about nineties virtual mm -hmm. boy. Uh, no, not that. <laughs> Thinking about Friday night Fox sci-fi shows that get canceled. Remember VR Five? VR Five. It sounds familiar, but I don't think I watched it. Now, yes, oh, I, I do. I remember. Yeah, that. it even had Luis Fletcher. You know, Nurse Ratchet was in that show. No oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, at the same time she was on Star Trek: Deep Space Nine. Uh -huh. Yes, people. I'm almost forty. I understand <laughs> that. <laughs> I, even know, I even know that name. So I'm like, what, what does that say about me? Oh, I know. I'm talking about, I grew up in the day where like anything that wasn't the X-Files didn't survive Friday nights on, on Fox. Cause I mean, I, I had to live through Mantis, the adventures of Briscoe County jr. Yes. VR five, all these shows getting canceled. That's like one or Bruce, two Campbell? Bruce Campbell was Briscoe County. Jr., was Briscoe right? County yeah. jr. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Bruce Campbell, love Bruce Campbell, but um, no, but like, yeah, I mean, when you think about it, like when you think about diving deep, I mean, how many times did, they, did you see like virtual reality was going to be like the future of like everything when it came to now and now we're here and it's like, eh, nobody's really using it, you know, and I, and that, but I was just always kind of wondering because when I, uh, I don't know, a few years ago when they were trying to make VR headsets, they had the Oculus and all that mm -hmm. stuff when it came, we could just slip your phone into like a VR headset and you can like literally just watch. I mean, it was kind of cool, 
But I was like wondering, like, what happened to that technology, especially now with all the streaming and the fact that we can't go to movies? I'm just surprised that there hasn't been any kind of like push to like have a virtual experience, especially since we're having virtual cons and whatnot. Maybe it's just, yeah. I guess I, it's because it's too expensive. Because I think it's sports, yeah. uh, sports they do have that uh, Oculus uh, service yeah. that, that if it puts you like in the on the front row seat and you watch the whole freaking action. From the front row, but um, it's too expensive. That thing is like five hundred dollars a piece. You know, what I, you, know what I, you know what I also think it is. I think it. I think there's something comforting about like, okay, so they're replaying a basketball game right now. Okay, so I can literally just look over and be like, hey, look at that, what's happening. But I can also do this. If you're actually gonna take the time to put something over your head, you, you have dialed in. You're immersed yeah. into it. I don't. I, especially nowadays. I mean, I literally have. <laughs> I have my laptop that's showing the live feed. Look at that. This. I got everything, too much stuff going on. So it's like, we're constantly like, we have so many things that are like, that we're hooked into that. I think well, it's and that's why I miss the movie theaters because oh, I, I'm one of the, I'm one of those people that like when my, this is going to sound so awful, but you know, I'm a married <laughs> man. So I can, I put my foot in my mouth every time, but it's <laughs> like, if my wife could just shut up when we go to watch a movie, <laughs> Ask your questions at the end yes, of the movie. Yes, exactly. Shut yeah. up. I'm watching, I'm watching the movie too, okay? Yeah. I'll find out the answer when you With find you. out the answer. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's amazing. And I just – and that's what I do. It's like this – my wife never understood why I love to go see movies by myself because like – because I'm there to watch the movie. This Love isn't it. a social experience for me. This yeah. is just I want to watch a movie on a big-ass screen. Every time I go, I turn my phone on airplane mode. I don't yeah. care what yes. it is. I turn it on airplane mode. I And it was funny, too, because when I went and saw Tenet, I was like, oh, my God. I pulled out my phone, and I put it on airplane mode. I was like, yes, done. I'm disconnected. I'm here. I'm going to watch this thing. Yeah. So I think, I mean, that's probably why VR, like, headsets haven't taken off because people just can't do that when they're sitting at home. You know, you got kids. You got kids. You got, you know, some of you guys have kids, you know, and it's just you can't just – totally just disconnect and just be, you know, immersed into like an experience like that. So, but I just, I, I don't know. I, to me, it was just like, I'm surprised there hasn't been a company that tried to like capitalize on that with the whole pandemic. I mean, we got all these, we got streaming services everywhere and all the streaming content. I was just surprised that nobody tried to do something like that. But then again, I think maybe the time has passed. I don't know. Maybe that's just what happened is that there's no more time for that. We're not lawnmower men. So, well, and also with the pandemic and so many people's livelihoods that have been seriously affected. I mean, you, it, it's kind of we're in this area where you need everything to be very cost effective mm -hmm. to, yeah. to, to justify your existence at true. this point. Yeah, that's true. I true. mean, yeah, there's a lot of hard times that are happening. And I don't know. It's, it's, um, I'm looking forward to when we could just like, you know, I don't have to drive an hour and a half to go see a movie. <laughs> I mean, that's what I literally had to do is like drive down to San Diego just to go see a movie. I don't know when it's ever going to happen back here again. Um, but uh, hey, I haven't been to work since March. You know, I was going so oh crazy. I had to fly God. back to Czechia <laughs> to get some sort of Fuck. social life. Jeez, I know it's it's crazy. I mean, especially you, Scott. You're you're teaching. My brother, he's also a teacher, and he's doing the online stuff. He hates it. He absolutely. Oh, no. I, I posted a. a there is a po boardteachers.com. <laughs> it, it's 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 a beautiful website. This lady does a four minute video making fun of what we're all going through right now. I literally have posted it on all of my social media, basically saying I have to laugh or I will cry. <laughs> and it's just watch that video. It's satire, but unfortunately it's, real? it's a little too real. <laughs> and I'm just saying it's not, I mean, it, that's the thing is that we're all going through something. And that's why I need to move. Like I told my wife, I told my wife when I went to see new mutants and then I went and saw a tenant, I was like, honey, I need this. This used to, <laughs> yeah. this was my, Oh, you don't even know, dude. This was my, this was my escape. Yeah. And so kind of like Matt, there was nothing uncomfortable for me. It was just, I'll wear the mask. I'll, but if it means I get to put my butt in the seat and, and I'll be honest with tenant, I bought some popcorn and a drink. So that mask wasn't on that much because I was, 
I was, right, yeah. I was, I was eating my popcorn. I was drinking my huge ass soda. <laughs> Did you order a small too? I ordered a small soda and they gave me like a fucking bucket. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I'm like, good. Because right. usually when I go to the, the movies, I don't get anything unless I go to a certain Harkins and they have beer. Then I will, you know, of course, get a couple of those. But when we went, I was like, you know what? I was like, I needed a little bit of sugar, a little caffeine, you know? And I'm like, can I get a small soda? And it was just like, bonk. Like, okay. I'm like, <laughs> oh. Cool. You don't have anything like you know. Like, okay. Cool. That and I only drank like half of it, but yeah. Well, my movie, my movie th- down. Yeah, my movie theater actually now because of this whole pandemic thing. Now they participate in the order ahead, uh, where I I order it, I pay for it, and I just walk up to the counter. It's like, hey, my name's Scott, and they give me a bag with my order in it. I'm like, thank you, and I just <laughs> walk into the theater with my bag of popcorn with literally a bag with my bucket of popcorn in it and the cup the only annoying thing is that they fill the like all these other places they fill the drink for you so you just hand them your cup and you're like oh i want the coke zero orange vanilla please and then they fill it for you it, it, but you don't get refills anymore that's the sucky part mm-hmm. that's i noticed the same thing uh, on my movie theater every everything was well organized and, and orchestrated like you come in you get your ticket then you walk in you order it right there and then you pick it's already ready by the time you walk inside the uh the movie theater so i'm thinking what was what the fuck was this service at before yeah, know, all right? this happened? <laughs> they could have done this years ago. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It was. I mean, to walk in there, not that many people. You could literally just walk up to the concession stand, no line, and, and then it was ready. Yeah, you sit down. You have nobody sitting next to you. Kind of nice, like you know. Yep. I had my brother, of course, sitting next to me because we got the two seats, but nobody on my right side. So I was kind of like, "That's cool." And then after the movie is done, go to the bathroom. I mean, they had like every other urinal was like covered with like a plastic bag, so you're not <laughs> yeah. doing that awkward. Like, I went to the plastic know. bag one. <laughs> <laughs> all over this thing. Yeah, I'm like, this baby hasn't been used in a while. This is fresh, <laughs> man. Yeah, right in there. It's got, a, it's got one of those fresh, uh, fresh, uh, well, urinal, Your urinal cakes. Yeah. Did you pee on the bag or did you leave, like take it off? Well, he's not an animal. Come on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was a question I didn't know how to answer because I actually legitimately did not go You're through welcome. this thing. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> no, but like, yeah. And it was just like, it was kind of nice because it was like, wow. Because usually, you know, after a movie, there's like a bunch of people go rushing to the bathroom and, you know, so yeah. it, it was kind of nice, you know. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. We had, the whole, we had the whole row to ourselves. It was my girlfriend yeah. and I. We had, yeah. literally had the whole row. And our theater wow. is already kind of a, a they call it a luxury theater. So mm-hmm. it has like the reclining seats. So there's already huge gaps between people already. Yeah. So that's why it, it wasn't really that much different for me anyway, because everything was exactly the same as I ever did. Except for I had to wear a piece of cloth over my face for a little bit. So that was the that was the I had the tickets on my phone, scanned the phone, walked in, sat down, I had the whole road to myself. Which sometimes with certain movies, when we go at certain times, that's how it is anyway. Yeah. So that's why it really wasn't that big of a difference for me at all. Yeah. I know it's it, it's going to be interesting though to see how where everything goes from here on out. I mean, I love going to the movies. Like you said, Scott, it was something I was like, oh, I just need, I just need, I just want to go. That's why I was willing to drive an hour and a half because I just wanted to do that again. Because every Thursday was always my movie night. I'd always look forward to it. Like you know, either I'd go right around the corner. I mean, there's literally a movie theater right around the corner from my house. Uh, if I went by myself, but if I had friends, I'd go, you know, drive a little farther to the luxury theater and uh, it'd be, you know, it'd be a good time. But Thursday night was always that for me. And it's just like, I, you know, not having that fixed for about four or five months, man, did it feel nice just to sit there and just turn off my phone and just, you know, oh, just take well, I was almost questioning for a little bit. I was starting to think like, wait, is this the first time I've been in a movie this year? And then I was like, oh, wait, no, Sonic. Dude, Earth pray, but, it, like but that? It, that would felt so long ago. Oh, it no. felt so long ago that I started questioning. I was like, "Holy shit!" The first time I've been in the theater is September of this year, and that's what I started thinking. And but it wasn't. But yeah, that's just it's crazy how this whole thing is. Yeah, the, the last movie I saw in the movie theater was uh, "The Way Back" with Ben Affleck. That was the last movie I saw in the movie theater. My and my last movie was Emma on like March fourteenth. Like <laughs> I can even look at my AMC app and go, <laughs> "That's when it was." 
That's because it was like Bloodshot on Thursday, and it was Emma on Saturday night, and then oh, you saw Bloodshot in the theater, or no? Whoa. Yeah, I saw Bloodshot on that Thursday oh. night preview because Vin Diesel is one of my why. It's it's one of Heather's uh, screen husbands. Oh, so okay. <laughs> so hey, I can't argue. I have my screen wives, so you know we <laughs> we have a mutual understanding. So it's just like we just we know that there are certain movies we're going to go and. It's going to happen no matter what the movie is. Yeah. I mean, I felt, I almost felt kind of sorry because it was like, uh, for blood, for Vin Diesel and Bloodshot, because it was like, um, it, it that movie came out right as the shit. Right then. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and it was like, oh, Vin Diesel is going to start a, a, yet another new franchise. Maybe this one will stick, you know? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Nope. Did not stick. I mean, it was an all right movie. I watched yeah. it. Guy movie. Pierce. Guy Pierce brought his A game. Yeah, that yeah. movie. I, I always like well, that. He always does. He was like, what was that one movie, Lockdown or Lock Up or something like that? Where he yes, had a, yeah. that the was space a great prison movie. movie. That was a yeah. great movie, man. I mean, it was cheesy, it was B roll ish, but there's something about Guy Pierce. I fucking love that guy. You know, he's in a movie. I know I'm going to like his character. I mean, maybe it's just because I love Memento so much, you know, whatever, you know, going back to that. But I mean, but Guy Pierce, I don't know, just something about the way that his charisma, I don't know what it is. Have but. you seen Count of Monte Cristo? Yes. Oh, yeah. And, uh, Jim yeah. Caviezel. Caviezel, right? yes. And and a very baby-faced Henry Cavill. Yes, that's yeah. right. Little Henry <sighs> Cavill's in there. See, now Meg's all... Do I, I gotta watch <laughs> you can never watch it. You see her go... Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I forgot I was on camera for a second. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine if he would have showed up at Justice Con? What would have happened? Oh... Yeah, you know, I she, can she imagine, had, and I don't think it, and I don't think it was family friendly. No, no. <laughs> what were you no. gonna say, Nana? Nana, what would you say? No, she'd have some time to prepare for it. You know, yeah. like that that's be, that's uh, the thing. She would she would have like some time to compose herself for the actual panel. So well, not if he was surprised though. I don't. I don't but, there'd be like a true, there'd be like but... a squirt bottle. Someone someone would have to be there with a squirt <laughs> bottle going. Psh, psh, She's going to fan me. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'll forever yeah. regret that we didn't record that time that we oh, all no, got on the go. Superman clip. <laughs> no, we had it, like, obviously, we got it earlier than the Justice Con happened. Not by much, by a few days. Well, but I we. Mean, I mean, just imagine how we felt when we didn't expect that Snyder was going to show up on that live stream. I uh, mean, yeah. I mean, we were not prepared for that. I mean, we, we were. All, we all, I mean, we all sent the link. We all had hopes, but we're like, oh, it's a long shot. No way that he's gonna show up on this thing. Dude, when he <laughs> get when he came on, I know Everett's. Well, I mean, he's the first one to see, obviously, because he had to let him on. I'm surprised <laughs> you didn't go. Ah! He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I would, I mean, every time, like, I sent him the link to every vodka stream. I'm like, hey, if you want to pop in, man, go for it. If I heard a little, you know, the pop, and I saw him, I, I probably would just be like. What the? <laughs> yeah. I don't know how I would react. But, you like, know, got my drink. Yeah. You know what, Dave? I expected. Uh, obviously, I expected him at just this gone. I mean, that that's logical. Yeah. But yeah. Um, when we were on the panel with Ray Fisher and they were all talking, and, and then suddenly up. there is like in the waiting room there is Zach, and I'm like, Holy and we shit. told him, "Do you want a crash race panel?" And he was like. Yeah, sure. I'll think about it and, yeah. and all that stuff. Ugh. But then I was like, well, maybe he'll crash it, but he'll crash it by the end. And then he just appeared there. And Ray was in the middle of answering a question and my mic died. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I was like, so what do I do? I need to yeah. tell them because I can't really just like let Zach on them without warning. But <laughs> in the same time, how do you leave Zack Snyder in a waiting room? Like you don't do that. <laughs> no, not at all. So if you if you actually rewatch that panel right now, you can actually see that I was trying to say something and it didn't <laughs> click to me that my mic is dead. Uh, <laughs> it, it's pretty hilarious when I was yeah. looking at it back. But, you know, it, it was funny with Meg because she got the clip because it went to her since she was the one to play it. And we and she waited for us. She was kind enough to wait for us. And so we I got waited on a, a Zoom. whole hour, a whole hour. Hmm. Yeah, she wow. waited a whole hour. See what a sacrifice she made for me and Cole. <laughs> um, so we got on the Zoom and she played it. 
and as Henry appeared, she basically slid off the chair. <laughs> 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 like I wish I had a video of that because I think that would be more legendary than that hair flip that she did. Because oh my like... god! Oh yeah, the hair flip. Well, you guys both, yeah. Snyder did a hair flip too. I, I love, get... I love the picture in picture video that's yeah. going around. That's like <laughs> so Someone that... actually made like a few of them, and that was yeah. the best one. Yeah. That was pretty good. No, but when when he showed up, I mean, it was just kind of like, I mean, I don't know. I mean. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Everett, so I don't know how you, I mean, you had to just be like, oh, uh, uh, just stunned. Because you know I mean, what happened? He li he logged in and I think he couldn't hear himself. And then, <laughs> and when I, and I was going to bring him in, but then he just came out. I was like, oh my God, what, what just happened? So I'm like, try to keep it cool. I was like, okay, maybe he's going to come back. And then he came back again. And I was, I just kicked him in, like, hey, look, 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 look what we got here. I know. Oh, we, I didn't, I, I didn't care if it was Mike was going to, break again but he was gonna be on the show <laughs> even, if, even if his camera broke right after i was so nervous because i had i had the baby with me no. and i was oh, like no. you shh, 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 don't and, and ohio <laughs> dave even commented like after it was like because someone said because uh, someone posted the video of us all like wigging out after he mm -hmm. signed off and we yeah. finally like all fanboyed out and i forgot <laughs> who commented underwood and someone said i was afraid scott was going to wake the baby and then ohio <laughs> dave went Oh, that's why I heard those random noises. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and I went back and listened to the stream, and occasionally you hear a, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I'm just like, and, and you'll see me. It, it, it's the telltale. You either see me doing this, yeah, <laughs> or you see me doing, or you just kind of see me do, like, you see my hand, like, I do this padding motion, mm -hmm. and occasionally I'm like reaching over and, you, and I'm turning my mic off because I'm like, oh, please, babe, no, Callum, do not interrupt <laughs> oh, Zach. Man. Don't interrupt Zach. That's what's so I'm great. I'm sure he wouldn't it. mind, though. I'm sure he wouldn't mind. Do you want me to and, share and my reaction? What? Yeah, share your reaction. Hold on, let me, sh let yeah, me share. Yeah, yeah, share your reaction. All right, can you? I'm sharing my screen. Can you? There it is. All right, so this is me. <laughs> In case you don't know, wow, this is some fourth wall break. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, seriously. All right, so <laughs> there goes Chris, talking his ass off as usual. <laughs> <laughs> like, see, I'm already looking down. That's the first time, and it failed. <laughs> and I'm like freaking out. I look, I look cool and collected, but I'm freaking out inside. Oh, that's like I'm scre That's like internal screaming should be like yeah. yeah you can, you can, you, yeah. If you know what you're looking for, like you can tell. You can tell yeah. it's like. <laughs> <laughs> and then you laugh. You're like, <laughs> yeah, because he came. He he left, and then, now now he's coming back. That's what that's just why he's going back. All right. And we're all comics. There, there it is. There it is. Look, oh. look. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, by the way, you can see me. I'm, hey, look at me. I'm rocking. I'm yes. rocking at the same time. <laughs> oh yeah, Shane's asleep. Yeah, <laughs> he ain't moving. <laughs> okay, okay. Like fast forward to when he actually, like, there he is. and then all of a sudden we're like, what? The? what the? <laughs> well, that's not. <laughs> yeah. That's that's we're just like, you know what, what like you know what guys isn't this like the coolest thing i mean what director would do this you exactly. know like whether it was coming on the justice gone for us or showing up for you it's just what director would do this yeah. i know, you know? Yeah, exactly no the in a white v-neck always yeah, always with the white v-neck are you going to where he left <laughs> Yeah, you know, with, uh, because I want to capture the uh, oh, reaction. Oh, didn't you get left. up and leave? Yeah, <laughs> Dave, Dave, Dave left. Dave up. just got up. I had to stand up, man. I was like, geez. I mean, just co totally like trying to keep your composure like the whole time, and wanting to ask like a million questions. And there's still so many questions that you want to ask. But yeah, yeah. So it, okay. here it is, right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like. <laughs> Check out Dave's reaction. I know. Well, I have to be the animated one. That though, like <laughs> that got up too. I mean, it was just one of those where you had to stand up. You just yeah. had to stand up after that. You know? and there I am, and there I am, like lifting the baby up, going, "Oh my god, I can't stay quiet." <laughs> you, know, yeah. you, know, you know what? It's like to be fair. Like any time that we spoke to Zach, whether it was on Justice Con or in private or whatever, we had a warning. Like we knew what we were coming into. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, yeah. I no, can't so imagine. Yeah. I can't imagine it just being like no warning whatsoever. 
Um, no I mean, the closest I was to that was when when he when he went off on on how he would burn down the movie before yeah. using. That was like the closest I was to that, and I'm still shocked that I managed to keep straight face on it. Well, I just I, I had to I had to appreciate the um, along with Justin just the uh, the Fountainhead right. reference when he was like blow the fucking thing up, and I was just like, oh. I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, felt, I felt like you that know what? Captain, I felt like that Captain America GIF is like. I understood that reference. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, it's it's like the whole time, like so many things happen during Justice Gone for me that I was like, I have to keep my face straight. But then some people were like, "You looked bored," and I'm like, "You have no yeah. idea." No None. fucking idea. Yeah, because you have to stay composed. You can't just geek out and find out. You know? Yeah, you you can't. You know, I mean, I mean, obviously. Look at Matt. Suppose... Like Matt's doing it right. Like this yeah, is the face. Professional. Yeah, that's the that's a professional at work right there. <laughs> well, you know, there's there's so many people that we're gonna have a problem with whatever we did, regardless. So. Oh yeah, I mean, you could tell like certain people were literally said on, "Oh, we're gonna have an issue with it." But yeah, exactly. Um, well, to be fair to me and Matt, I mean, we've met him in person. <laughs> 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 Sorry, <laughs> right at that. I know. I know. I know. Hopefully, we all can do that. And I know, like, wasn't initially the whole idea for Justice Con for it to be an actual spot, right? It was. You know? It was the original. Original idea was, um, and we were actually in talks with mm -hmm. a lot. Like, I think I can tell it now, but we were yeah. in talks with Vero. Even, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we were trying to set up basically something like SnyderCon 2.0 in San Diego. The idea was that we would have um, BBS screening and uh, we would have afterwards like sort of a private party for people who attended and there would be like an auction of art. You know, we'd talk mm -hmm. to artists, we would do an auction of art for AFSB. We were talking about the possibility of certain people attending as well. But obviously, then pandemic oh, happened and yeah. it all went away. Mm -hmm. But I think in a way, Justice Con as it happened is so much better because mm -hmm. so many people got to see it who would never yeah. get to go. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like looking back, like obviously I would want it to happen in person. Who wouldn't? But right. in the same time, if it happened in person, we'd have 120 people that could attend maybe. Mm -hmm. True. Uh, and it would be for money and it would be really costly to put together. Well, when we did Justice Con, it was for quite like it was almost for nothing. Yes, we did have to put some money in, but it wasn't mm -hmm. much. Yeah. And in return, we got to bring something to people who would never, ever get to attend a convention, especially a convention in the U.S., ever in their lives and like those messages i cherish the most because we got so many so of them many. where people yeah. went and were like hey i would have never been able to go and yeah. you gave me the opportunity to see a convention that i would never be able to see and i'm so thankful for that and mm -hmm. i really like that's 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 something i think that like if i was to pick out the best thing about justice gone it would be those messages Same. hands down it's just like so nice to bring people something that they never thought in their life that they would be able to attend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was awesome. I mean, you guys did a great job. I mean, next year, I mean, if you do it, I mean, I mean, I think any if you guys need help, any one of us will help. You know, I mean, I know that was like taxing for you guys for two days of just like, whoo. I mean, I can only imagine just two days of live streaming. I mean, Jesus Christ, just me doing like DC fandom and just being doing a bunch of live streaming. I was like, hey, geez, I'm so worn out for doing like <laughs> two hours of live streaming. You know, but you guys were like two days worth. I mean, uh, I mean, talk about it. It was hard. The Sunday morning was hard. Oh, yeah, sure. Sunday um, was so hard. Not, not the evening. Was it was big. okay, but the morning was hard because, like, we had some mean comments too, and you just kind of have it get to you. But yeah, Sunday morning was the toughest. But yeah. um, which I'm kind of sad about too, because like we had really interesting guests and I would say that we spoke about really interesting things like Fabian Wagner was amazing and yes. uh -huh. shared so much stuff. Mm -hmm. And then you got Clay, 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 Clay and his wife. Yeah. They yeah were Clay, and, Clay, wife Clay and Christine were amazing. <laughs> Debbie was amazing. Like, yeah. I mean, when Debbie first told us she's going to come and show up, like I, 
I was so excited because we genuinely, like, we asked, but we didn't expect her to be like, oh, yeah, I'll come on. So when she said yes, it was so exciting for me. And, like, for I think that for all of us, like, for all mm -hmm. Amazons, because that was just, you know, you we've done this thing, this podcast a year ago, and then you get... Who would like if, like if we told the girls a year later you're gonna be on a panel with Deb Snyder, nobody would believe us, you know? No. So I mean, you could tell that we were all nervous, especially the girls who, you know, jumped in and all that. But I think it went well and I'm so, so happy that she came on. And I think those three panels were so interesting, but there were so many mean comments. Like Oh yeah, it was it was almost I was like, yeah. Yeah, just and, get and, ignore them. Yeah. Welcome, welcome to the internet. I mean, yeah, the, the, yeah. Best, the best <laughs> feedback I've ever received is don't accept criticism from someone you wouldn't accept advice from. Yeah. Yeah. No. I just don't it's think that maybe thing. like we were used to it at that extent. Yeah. I mean, like yeah. we had 17,000 people watching Zach's stream Jeez alone. Right. I don't know yeah, how. Yeah. By the way, when, by the way, when that <laughs> jumped on like it jumped on like 18,000 at one point. Yeah. 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 Wow. I nearly like just slid off my chair. I was like, I'm not sure I am comfortable with being in front of 18,000 people. Yeah, it is but it's a little <laughs> weird because I mean, when you're when you're when you're at home and you're just like talking to a microphone. Even right now, you know, we got like 143 mm -hmm. people watching right now. I'm like, nah, yeah, it just feels like I'm just having a conversation with yeah. you. Yeah. And, and then all yeah. of a sudden, I'm like, oh yeah, wait, there are people watching. There's a live chat. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, yeah, I always like kind of just like try to ignore it but i mean i know it's kind of hard when you want to take like fan questions but i mean i remember seeing that live chat there's no way that you can even see it it, it was scrolling like just yeah like, <laughs> you know the fact that meg managed to pick out questions from yeah, it i don't, know how, you did. I don't know how you did that i don't yeah. know either i really don't even like i remember certain bits of the whole weekend but like it's all a blur, it's, all a blur. Like, <laughs> it's like it's like i like i've seen so many criticism first one was why did it have to be just us hmm. and i've said it so many times and i said i i will say Plan it again your when own. we spoke on your own i'm just kidding right. yeah well that that's that's another <laughs> thing but it's like what people didn't understand is that these people who came on, they don't just like say, Oh yeah, I'll come on to whatever thing. And yeah. you, like, you know, usually well. the first usually the first questions that they had was who's gonna who's gonna moderate it? Yeah. And yeah. you can't just tell, oh, this is gonna be some random guy you've never met. They they would say no, you know? And it doesn't matter how good that person is, it's just like they wanted to be sure that when they come on, it's going to be whatever they say, it's going to be their space, you know, mm -hmm. and they trusted us in that front. <laughs> so mm -hmm. obviously when we were saying this, we were, you know, saying, okay, we will moderate it because that was the, in a way, the only way to get these people on because yeah. these people ask you who's going to moderate it. You right. can't just throw somebody at them. I mean, you can, but then they will likely say no. It's got to be somebody that they know. They like, know, oh, you know like, yeah. like if you were to do it again, I mean, you could obviously now you could probably. like. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. now that you're doing it again, it's like, hey, we've done this with you last year. Yeah. We've shown you that you can trust us. Mm -hmm. So now if we say, hey, we're going to have another person moderated, but it's a person that we trust. Yes. We've proven to you that you can trust us. Now we can talk. But at the time, we couldn't really. Like yeah. you, you can't. It's not like I mean it's we could, but we wouldn't process. have yeah. like we wouldn't we wouldn't have the guests that we had if we didn't promise that that's where we will be. Mm -hmm. And then there was a question why it was all three of us. <laughs> and the answer is actually quite simple. I mean, neither of us have ever organized the whole convention on her own. <laughs> no. So Right. No. The support. idea of being alone on the panel, it was mm -hmm. just terrifying. Mm -hmm. Well, each I one handled... of us played like a certain role. And so I yeah. streamed, like, Nana added people into the chat, and Cole was moderating the chat. So all of us had to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Like we each had our own role. And especially on Zach's panel, it was really important because it was just with how many people were watching and mm -hmm. how much pressure there was. You had to have, you know, you had to have more people. Like, I mean, if if we ever do it again, but probably do it differently. Like, there will be people behind the scenes. It will be different setup. It will be right. different stuff. But also, again, you got two months to organize this. Mm -hmm. You've never really done live streams before. You've never really done 
your own right. convention before. Yeah. How are you going to do this? You're going to do it the only way that you know, the way that you're comfortable with, the way that you know that is not going to fail you. And that was the way that we've done it. Yeah. Well, and, and I, I would mean, also point out the fact that, you know, like Matt and Ben, I mean, Dave, you're used to doing, you know, your own thing. But for those of us who are used to having our hosts with us, yeah. isn't it, 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 it's not comfortable doing it without yeah, your co-host. We I did one somewhat recently, almost by myself, and I just the whole time I kept thinking, I was like, "How the fuck does Dave do this by himself?" Because yeah. <laughs> I'm like stumbling through, I'm trying to read comments that. and stay on topic. I, I talk to myself like, huh? yeah, that is something. That is something that we always say whenever he, whenever John or I have to do it by ourselves. I'm thinking, how does Dave does this thing whole, oh, the whole fucking time? Yeah. And how does uh, I, had it, I did it like two weeks ago? Garth, I was like, yeah, hey, yeah, you did it two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. I don't even want to do it. Like I, no. we have done. I mean, there's a joke on our network where they call the episodes like you know the Scott cast or the Tim cast when it, like we have to do a solo show. Mm -hmm. I don't want if 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 Tim can't be there with me, I like fight it. It's like no, no one <laughs> wants to listen to just me talk. Right. The whole point of the show is. The conversation, you know, the, the conversation, both of us. So it's like yeah. with the with the Amazons, it's like no, you're kind of a you're a package deal. Yeah. It's like it's what you do. Well, yeah. and my thing now, is like uh, there's so there's the three of us and our guest. Our guest is the one that is supposed to be talking the most. So like when people are saying, "Oh, they look bored. Why aren't they talking? Who the fuck wants to listen to me talk when they <laughs> have Zack yeah. Snyder yeah. or Ray Fisher or something?" And it's it's funny because whenever you say something, then you're just jumping into whatever they're saying, so you're doing it wrong again. So either oh, I can't you're too quiet cut or Meg you're off. too loud. I I oh, can't yeah, believe yeah. Meg cut off Zack Snyder. Oh, fuck you off. Know, yeah, when it comes to the live yeah. stream setting, everybody cuts off everybody. Exactly. Yeah. Possible yeah. to even try to like organize, like, okay, and then you talk, then you talk. You can't do that. Everybody cuts each other off yeah. constantly. I mean, yeah. geez. And, I mean, and you know what? The thing is, Susan's not here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? You know Don't what the thing is. It. It's the truth. I don't know what I'm talking so much in this one. <laughs> no, we miss Stephen. We I miss them. We miss them. You know what's funny? I when when Stephen doesn't show up on the vodka stream, I find myself going, "Oh shit, I gotta like carry this thing a lot more." <laughs> I mean, like when it comes to, like you guys were talking about, I normally do this thing by myself, but like when I have Stephen there, oh man, I mean he's like the the information guy. Go no, no. go go. Then like, hey, crack joke, ha 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 ha, you know, and then that's me, and then all of a sudden it's like. Like, and then all of a sudden he's just go 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 go, and it worked. Our dynamic. Like a jester. <laughs> oh no, your, your Sunday morning hangover breaking down Ray Fisher last yeah, Sunday. With him, yeah, that, that was, was like. Dynamic. Yeah, that was really good. And actually, that was my. Uh, I stole his idea to bring you on board to break out the uh, break down the Dune stuff. I was like, "Oh, that was pretty good. Let me yeah. bring Scott in because I know he's a Dune." <laughs> oh no, guy. like I wasn't even gonna do a Sunday morning hangover. I was like, "Oh shit!" But this Ray Fisher video came out. I'm like, "Okay, I'm gonna do it, and let's we'll talk about it." And then I was like, "Steven, come on. I mean, you you know a lot of the logistics of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Please do that." And he showed up, and yeah, we just broke it down, and yeah, our little dynamic. Yeah, it's fucking brilliant. Yeah, so mm -hmm. hey, I mean, Matt, it's, have it's... you and Shane done something like that? Because I haven't, I, I haven't seen it pop up in my stream yet. But is there something I need to go jump on and look at? Because I'd be really interested to hear your guys' take on the whole situation. They, you get what situation? The Ray, Fisher. the Ray oh, Fisher. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ray Fisher. Uh, no, we've been pretty quiet on this one. I Ray Fisher. Who's that? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. What, what you guys have, you guys have found a little niche. I think the top five. First, you did a top five misunderstood and then he did top five yeah. differences mm -hmm. i noticed that that's that's kind of like you notice that people are taking uh, attention to that right like that when we did the misunderstood video that got a lot of views yeah 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 no it, it did pretty well oh man i know i know the girls were just talking about negative comments but i love the negative comments yeah, i love them so wow. much I, I have i had a collage of them like and i, I was you just know, like some of the responses i was I, making oh i think you know what most of okay. the time yeah, most of, like most of the time we get a kick out of it. It was just literally. I think it was also the pressure. Yeah, like you don't want to disappoint. Yeah, you want to. You want to make it. 
And, you're probably getting a lot more than what we were getting. But there was like one guy that said, like, I don't like this channel. I was like, yeah. I was like, same. Fuck these guys. Yeah. And that's how I answered it back. <laughs> I, you know what? You know what's worst? And I'm going to say this right now for whoever's listening to this. Don't ever, ever try to put us against each other. Oh, oh. and I love how Meg, how, how Meg knew, like, what I'm talking about. Because she was getting messages about us. Oh, yeah. Just like, like really really shitty messages wow. about us it was so bad you that i had to turn not, my message requests off you do so not bad. send to uh, you do not send two or three women against each other not especially when us three what the don't fuck? do that uh, no like are- like it, it's it's not it's not like it's first of all that's not okay no. Second of all, let me tell you one thing. Like the three of us, we would not organize this event together yeah. if we were not tight as fuck. So whatever the fuck you said, first of all, we looked all, all over it, all three of us. We mm-hmm. had a laugh at it. Mm-hmm. And then we were pissed that there's somebody who thinks that they can send us against each other. You know, the it's funniest okay. thing the funniest thing that we ever had was uh, on our Batman trailer reaction video literally one comment after the other one person commented hey dude with the baby you know you could go you should go push the talk the wow. next comment was dude with the baby you're a king <laughs> it's like that's <laughs> funny yeah. that going seriously tale of two cities here it's like uh, thank you Fuck off! I have I have a I have a one month old. I'm gonna have my baby with me. Screw exactly. off! That I, think, I think the Yo. worst thing though was like you can attack us for being boring or whatever, but people were literally attacking us for like the way we look and stuff, and that's oh. just like not okay you know at is. all. Yeah. No, and I mean, and I mean, it's not like just attacking you for how you look. It's yeah. saying. You look worse than the other one. Yeah. It's first of all, it's not it. gonna work. Like that's just how you're gonna piss the entire flock of women that is around there. I, know. I hate it when people <laughs> say that to me and Matt. Like I look worse than Matt. I mean, it just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it, it, I mean, just... <laughs> but you know what? Like you got you guys obviously. I, I won't don't say that again. Much. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm kidding. Yeah. No, it's it's yeah. just yeah. like it's really, it's, it's, really it's, it's, it's it's to me like that was that was like the worst thing, you know, like whatever the heck people said, other than that, you know, like justice gone sucked, whatever. Yeah. I just like hmm. you know, people that made somewhere. videos. I, I don't know why. <laughs> but I, I never. People... <laughs> you know yeah, many... but go on, go on, go on. No, you go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, no, go I'm ahead. saying because that is something that uh, Garza deals with a lot, and and I do too. But I deal with it in a different fashion. Like I never, uh, it's never gotten to the point where it gets me upset because these are faceless people, and and yeah. and they are hiding behind a keyboard, and they say right. all this outlandish thing that they will never say to you on your face. Oh, so yeah. I always find it hilarious when they do it, and, and I don't even. It doesn't even trigger anything in me. Sometimes, like I'm bored and I start replying, "Yeah, you, but you yeah. this and this and that. You and your mother, whatever, you know." But that's because I'm well, just bored. Well, we and- had that last I- week on the vodka stream. I mean, like you know, we had people going like, "Oh my god!" Like you know, you know, some people that haven't had a word in. Like Dave, what are you doing? He looks bored. I'm like, I'm not bored. I'm like, the vodka stream is when I have the panel on. The guys, uh, free for all. I don't care. Yeah. Who- is like leading the conversation it's a conversation i don't care if i don't get it if i haven't talked in like five minutes fuck it that's because there's a deep conversation either like gars is going on a tan on a thing or colbert's going on a thing i don't really give a shit and then you know you, you always get that like kind of stuff and there was like guys in the live chat that were just like you know just talking shit and saying just constantly constantly like oh this stream is more boring than something something and I, a, a, after a while i was like all right i'm just gonna go ahead and remove because they're just yeah they're trying to fight with people right. in the live chat well what's funny oh. is if it was that boring then why are why you you know what you know you know what this is this is um i i still remember and i actually even made a comment about like on on that note after justice con because that's what my dad taught me he's a radio host Mm. and um he's actually in quite a big radio in czech republic but when he came back from prison let's not go there (laughs) when he came back from prison (laughs) he had to to start small so he was like the night radio host 
talk show thing. And he would get these haters in his email that would basically tell him second by second what he did wrong, according to them. <laughs> and he goes, you know, these people, they are my biggest fans. Because yes, I have no idea yeah. who else would listen to my stuff as much oh, yeah. as they do and he and i was like because i was a bit down about certain comments and i went to him right. how did you deal with this stuff and he goes well i'll tell you what i did when somebody sent me email like that i would send them an apology email and i would say <laughs> i am so sorry that you had such a bad experience i know that in this country there is 10 million people who would have done it better than me but you know, they choose to take out trash cans and sell retail and all that right. stuff. So, you know, I'll just have to do this job that was left up to me. So I'm so sorry. Yeah. Maybe look for another radio station. Never gets a reply. Never gets <laughs> another hate email from that person again. I think my and I did something. Part... Go ahead. Sorry. No, I, I did something like that on uh, my on our Twitter. I posted something similar, but obviously had to bit like adjust it to the situation. But I did similar thing, and I must say, I did feel much better after that. Good, That's good. Yeah, Very I think I I felt a lot better after Ray Fisher said something like, "Oh about, yeah, oh yeah," about it. Oh. And Amanda uh, Colbert, she sent us the video recently, and it just made me feel so much better. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. that like I'm I'm gonna save that video, and I'm just gonna have it for the bad times. I remember like a day after Justice Connor and I was moving, I felt like complete shit. Like I just kept reading all the negative comments, and I was like with my mom, and I played the video, and she was like, "Yeah, exactly. He's fucking right." Like yeah. you have haters for a reason. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. well, I think I think like when it comes to all this, I mean, we we emphasize on the negative way yeah. more than the positive. Yeah. I mean, that's what's sad. It's like I mean, there's so much positive out there. I mean, I mean, when I look in the live chat, I mean, I see nothing but positive, and then of course a couple times, a couple negative. I won't kick those people out unless they're starting like shit in the live chat. Then I'm like, all right. I'm done. Get out of here. Blah, blah, blah. And then even like when it comes to Twitter or whatever the hell. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just a weird thing. Heck, like how there can be so much positive, but then yeah. you have one negative and you're just like, it's ruined it's your day. Yeah, you're like, well, what the fuck? And uh, I don't know. What hey, I you mean. get hang up on it. Sometimes you get a hang up on it. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes it's like whatever, but or even laugh. But like sometimes you just really get hang up on it. I think but, that's that's. But I think it's important to remember, and I feel like you know this is kind of like a giant therapy session with this whole group right now. But I it's know, kind of it feels so it, good. But that's so the thing is like we do this. Like I'm sorry, this isn't my job. No, this, no, uh -huh. this, this is hobby. this is a hobby for me. This is what I do to hang out with other nerds and yeah. talk about fun nerds. That I do this for the fun of it, and I've been doing it for the last five years because my wife got tired of listening to me, so I had to go find somebody <laughs> else to talk to, right? And so it's like there's always going to be those people out there, screw them find find the joy find the reason you did this in the yeah. first place yeah. and 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 look at this screen none of us would have known each other yeah. if we didn't decide to do this True. you know it's and that's what's the and that's what's the fun part and it's like find the fun remember the reason you did this especially mm -hmm. now when we're all like starving for any kind of social interaction <laughs> whatsoever Seriously. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, that's why I look forward to the, I mean, we all, I mean, it seems like a lot of us look forward to the vodka stream. Like, it's like, you know, cause yeah. during the week I'm like doing videos by myself. Like you guys say, I'm like just talking to myself, gonna just mm -hmm. dance monkey dance, you know? And, and, uh, but then when it comes to, when it comes to Friday, I'm like, Oh, cool. I get to like kick it with you know, the normal, like the normal panel, even like anybody who wants to join. And then sometimes there's somebody new that joins that I can get to know. And it's always, mm -hmm. It's always a lot of fun. It's always a lot of fun to get to know a lot of people and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, Garza, you're making weird noises. So I muted you right now. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> he's still play uh, he's probably I, I still playing some injustice. Me. Like who knows how far yeah. he is in story mode or something. Yeah. I, I don't know. Garza, I unmuted you. Are you all right? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm still playing and my, my phone is fucking okay. up. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> there was like, like even like people in the live chat were like, somebody's um, <clears throat> somebody's doing something yeah. weird. So no, it's, no, no. Yeah. It's 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 my phone. I don't know if it's overheating or something. I don't know whatever. But oh, this hot out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead. Out, but it, it was a pleasure talking with all you guys. I'm gonna continue uh, listening. I'm just playing injustice, you know. No like wait, who, who are you playing Power as? You, right? Oh yeah, who uh, are you playing I'm, as? <laughs> Power Girl. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Sweet. Yes. <laughs> nice. Hell oh, yeah, dude. You also gotta leave too, right? Yeah, I'm about to log off. All right. Wow. Well, he's he's dying on us, so yeah. No. <laughs> oh yeah, he literally <laughs> is dying on us. Yeah, no, no. I, I'm Love starting to get. Uh, I'm die. not dying, but I feel some some discomfort, so I'm about to go lay down. Go for it, man. <laughs> yeah, all right, guys. Ice to my ibuprofen. You'll be good. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Fuck it. All right, guys. Go ahead and plug your uh your uh YouTube. Yeah, you can follow me here. Here, I always get it wrong. And uh, <laughs> every Wednesday at ten o'clock Eastern Standard Time, you can watch the the Real Emotion podcast with that guy down there. Yeah, with this asshole. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the guy who's the crotch of the yeah. stream right now. Yeah. yeah. Love All you right, guys. Gals. All right. Take Bye. it. Easy. Thanks for joining, Bye. guys. Bye. Cool. No, but uh, yeah, I know. Going back to the whole thing, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, it, it is just a, it's it is a weird thing how we can't. It's hard to like. Uh, you see all this positivity, and then all of a sudden you see that one negative, and you're like, you just fixate on that a little bit. I mean, there's. Mm -hmm. there's I mean, that, that's what I've noticed too, like just doing a, like converting to live streaming. I mean, when I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do a live show, you know, three days a week. Then I have the vodka stream and then I might have a Sunday morning thing. So it's like five days a week. And I'm like, there's sometimes where I'm like, am I insane? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are. I just, yes. Yes. But I you just, know what? Yeah. We thank you for all the content. Yeah, yeah I know. Serious. That's the thing. It's, that's the thing. It's like, you know, it, for some reason, even though. I like, I might go like, man, I'm insane for doing this and everything like that. But it also, I don't know. I think it just gets out like some energy. It's almost therapeutic for me too, where it's just like, you know, once all, everything just like turns on and you know, the microphone's hot and everything, I'm just like, all right, I'm just going to go, 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 go afterwards. I mean, sometimes I'll be like, oh, that, that show sucked or whatever the hell. But most of the time I'm like, you know what? I got out some things that I wanted to like say and and blah 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 and then and then it's always nice to get a follow-up from like i don't know a message on a mention on on twitter like hey man that was what you said about this fucking spot on and i'm like there you go that's all i needed you know so you know for me i'm sad and i'm lonely and i need uh people on the internet to tell me good things anyways go ahead <laughs> no you know for me I'm like sorry. after <laughs> after after jc and and when we were feeling down and stuff i think like my main thing was how did the guests that we had on, how did they feel about it? And like, I mean, I don't know if they would say, you know, bad things outright no. or stuff like that. No. But in the same time, I don't feel like they would praise you in private and stuff if they didn't feel like it, like if they felt like it was shit. Yeah. So like, that was the most important thing for me. Like when Ray did that shout out for us, it was like, okay, so he's publicly saying he had fun. Yeah. Um, that was more important to me or, you know, then I realized this is more important to me than all the negative comments. Like I wanted the guests to have fun first and foremost, you know, this was not paid convention. And it was in the sense that all of them were there on a goodwill. Like most of the conventions they go to, they get paid, you know, mm -hmm. and this one, they did it on their goodwill. Like that was like, Hey, do you want to come on, spend some time with us, spend, you know, an hour or so with us. It was just, it was their own favor to us that they even came on. And that's why I cared about how they felt about the whole thing more than, you know, negative comments or shit like that because like people didn't have to watch it you didn't have yeah. to spend the weekend watching it you didn't have to do anything like you could have ignored it you could have caught it later on it, it was entirely up to you you didn't have to pay for it it was out there for free unless you wanted a merch in which case it went to charity so mm -hmm. it's like if the guests were happy then i'm happy and once i got into that mindset i was okay yeah that's what that's what you gotta get into i mean and, you know, anytime that I have a guest on, I'm always like, I always, I want to, 
anytime that I'm like direct messaging them, I'm like, Hey, you know, you want to come on and they go, yeah, it sounds like fun. I'm like, okay, it's very relaxed, you know, feel free to have a drink. It doesn't have to be alcoholic, but if you want, you know, whatever. And, uh, you know, we're just talking and we're just chilling you know, we'll just have like a one-on-one -on -one and then a panel comes on. You don't have to stay. If you want to stay and chat with the panel, fine, but leave at any time. You know, that's what I always try to do with this stream right here is just kind of just keep it relaxed and, uh, you know, and whatnot. And, uh, that's all I'm really looking for. Like looking for is like, is the guest good? Are we good? We're good. You know, my and, liver will never forgive you, Dave. Oh, I know, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm alcoholism, I think, but you know, I, you know what? I, I have Come never... on, one evening of drinking a week. Yeah. Hey, you're going. You're talking about a guy who used to go from you know once in a blue moon to pretty much every Friday night. Like yeah. I had to dig through. I had to dig through like the stores in the bar over here. Going, okay, what do I? What do? What do I? <laughs> What do I have left? And so I was literally like, okay, I got some amaretto. Yeah. <laughs> I got some sea grump. Okay, what, what can I what can yeah. I do? I mean, I even busted out like my, my bar book. It was like, okay, what yeah, kind of the kill a mockingbird. The kill a mockingbird. I love that. I love you know, that. there's the sequel. Are you there, God? It's me, Margarita. <laughs> and then there's the movie themed version, which is gone with the gin. Nice. So you know, I like it. I like right it. now I'm drinking an old man in the seagrass. There it is. No, but it, it, it's kind of funny because I mean, I, I've I've done this stream for I think like a year now, mm -hmm. and it's just kind of started. You know, the, the vodka stream name came from like somebody, one of my the people that do not like me. Actually, mm -hmm. actually, we were going like back and forth. I'm not gonna say who it is. But he mentioned, he was all, yeah, maybe you'll just go on a drunken rat on one of your vodka streams. And I was like, that's a fucking good name. <laughs> <laughs> I like that shit. I like that name. You know, and it just, that's what birthed the fucking vodka stream, you know. But I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to call it that because I'm going to sip vodka. And when I'm done, I'm done. And it was just, a, you know, ma mainly it was just me just talking. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it just turned into like, hey, you want to come on? You want to come on? And I think even like Scott, one time when like I, I posted it and you're like, I'm ready. And I'm like, maybe Scott will want to come on. And I just like DM'd you. I'm like, you want to come on? You went, yep. And then that was it every Friday now. And it was like, cool. You know, it yeah, was pretty like much all you had to do. All you just had to crack the door. And, and then like, I like, you. I busted that sucker open. <laughs> this is like and my, very come on. This is like my Friday night now. <laughs> yeah. I still remember like a couple of weeks ago, like the one night, like I was like hanging out with my buddies, playing video games, eating yeah. pizza. And you're like, hey, you're going to be honest. Like, uh, I, I'm Aww. hanging out with some friends. <laughs> and then, and they were all like, screw you. What, yeah. what the, why do you need real, why do you need like real in person friends? And exactly. I still showed up for you. You did. I want, I want you to remember that. Yeah. And then even when you had the baby, I was like, oh, Scott's probably not going to be on as much. But guess what Scott did? He brought the baby with him. The baby is now the co-star. I love you for that, Scott, because Jane just had a kid, too. Yeah. And I and when you have that baby in your arms, and I text him, like, he has a baby in his arms, and he's doing a podcast. No fucking excuses. <laughs> I, <tell> him, <laughs> I was like, if he can do it, you can do it. No yeah. excuses. I am exactly. here to set the bar for Hell yeah, unrealistic it, expectations. You really <laughs> You do, and, and look at look at where you guys started. Okay, you started like you you started it alone and all that stuff. Now suddenly you got a whole bunch of guys. Now you got babies and you got girls on as well. I mean, me. women. Oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know what to say. Yeah, no, it's it's crazy. Like how you know, like like I said, during the week is that that's just like me doing my thing. But then it's like Friday night. You know, got the chair, relaxed, lights are off. I mean, at first I had a candle lit. Remember when I had the candle lit that one yeah, time? You need to bring the candle back. Woo! I know, bring I should probably back. do that. When I was like, you know, I was trying bring to uh, summon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to summon uh, Satan or something like that. But well, I got the I got the, the BVS light. That's I thought yes. that's what um, that worked. Well, I finally <laughs> shifted. I finally shifted my camera. I don't know yeah. why I didn't think about this, but it's like I, I've had this the the Snyder Con poster behind me yeah. the whole this whole time, uh, which is sad because I didn't even get to go to Snyder Con. This was a listener <laughs> who sent it to me. Oh, see, that's I was about to say. Every time I see that thing, I was like, "Say, I mean, I'm surprised I didn't see you there." And now I know yeah. why. No, yeah. no. I, <laughs> shout out to Josh Barone, one of our listeners, who was like, wow. "Okay, he he like DM Tim and me, and he was like, hey, 
do you mind? I want to send you something. Can I have your addresses? I was like, okay, sure. <laughs> and then it's like, I, I get home from spring break and it's like, oh yeah, here's a poster with Debbie's signature. Zach's, Larry Fong. Zach's so oh, and not only do I have Larry Fong, it actually says Scott. Larry what? Fong. Yeah, Josh oh even my got God, them. That's so awesome. So he like he knew he was gonna send it to you. That's awesome, man. So it's like I finally arranged my camera because it's like, damn it, I'm like doing like YouTube all the time now. So I like I arranged my head now, so it's like, why don't I have Zach? Well, I remember right I here. Been- the first time you showed up, you had your you were like facing the other way, and you had your big ass bookcase and all your books everywhere that put everybody's book collection to shame. I mean, you had like just everything right there, and we're like, "Holy shit! Look at this guy's book collection!" But I mean, of course, it made sense because you're a teacher, and we you know we figured that you know. But it was just like you had that as your background. I think when the first couple of times that you showed up on uh, on this thing, but no, it's it's turned up. You know, it's turned up pretty awesome. I mean, like. Um, when I like go invite people, people are like, Oh my god, vodka, what? Oh, I can like drink. I'm like, Yes, just it's chill, it's whatever, you know. If you want to show up, we'll talk, shoot the shit, talk some nerdy stuff, it's fine. You know, if only we can get the <clears throat> that Snyder guy to show up, you know, one of these days. You know? <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, it's uh that'll be I mean, honestly, <laughs> I'm gonna like I, I almost want to propose to him, like, hey, I want to do a show, it's gonna be all charity. I want to do a one on one. I want to do a one on one, like, and just like, let's talk. I want to like get to know Zack Snyder. And, you know, yeah, we'll talk about the shit that we want to talk about, but I want to like, you know, one of the things that I always like to do too is like when, when a guest comes on, is like, especially if they're a YouTuber, I'm like, okay, what, what inspires you to start your YouTube? You know, what, why did you want to do this? Where are you from? What's going on? You know, I always like to try to like, I want to know the person before we start jumping into like, hey, let's have a discussion on nerdy stuff. So, you know, that's that's kind of like the approach, like even if it gets to the point where it's like, you know, a, a celebrity like, you know, Zack Snyder or something like that. I want to like get to the core, like, hey, like what inspired you to start wanting to do this? You know, you did music videos at first. How was that? You worked with Michael Jordan, blah, blah, blah. You know, get to all that before we start, you know, getting to like, hey, so what? What does Ben Affleck smell like? You know, I don't know. I'm not gonna, I don't know. That's when I'll get to those questions. But, you know, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I really hey, want to. Hey, at least you spelled stream right this time. I know, oh! I know, I know, I know. Hey, hey, you know what? And that happens. Lesson be learned. Oh, yeah. Lesson be learned. You guys are inspirations, by the way. By oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. I'm a uh, fucking loser, so thank you. Uh, see, see, oh, stop dude, it, stop it. That. Come on, we stop all love it, Meg. Stop I've, it. Seen, I've seen, I've seen your Twitter feed. You, 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 you got, no, you got nothing to complain about. I'm just, yeah, no. just yeah. saying. Oh, she's got, thank she's you. Got stimped for days. Um, no, but like you know, I mean, that's that's a thing too, though. It's like you're gonna make mistakes. I make yeah. mistakes oh, yeah. constantly. God, yeah. And when I when I made that when I I totally like my brain didn't even process that there was missing an R, but it actually turned into a funny joke. But and it and it actually worked because it said vodka steam. You know, <laughs> nobody else noticed it. Meg, you were on that on that stream I was, yeah. with Ohio Dave, and and it was Justin that pointed it out, and I was like, holy, nobody fucking said anything. Because it's weird how our brains work. Because sometimes you just you just we fill we fill it's just proven we fill in the yeah. gaps like we, we correct do. things. Yeah, and I totally when I made the thumbnail did not even think like I mistyped it and I didn't even process it until it was pointed out and a lot of other people didn't notice it either. So it was like it's just crazy how our brains work like that. And you're gonna make mistakes. You're just gonna Typos. do this. Typos no, are the oh, worst. I yeah. we had a cur- yeah. we had a cur- we had a cursed uh, DC fandom video where we were trying to break down the Flash panel and the Wonder Woman eighty four panel, mm-hmm. and that thing just kept crashing and crashing mm-hmm. every yeah. time I was trying to render it, and I was just having so many issues with that damn video. And then I finally got it up, and I had uh, some quick text pop up saying Michael Keaton's Batman in it, was explaining one of the. Uh, Concept arts, that concept art with the Batman and Flash in front. It, we actually did yeah. M- Michael Keaton's Batman in the videos. I was like, fuck. All right, put that <laughs> up there real quick. And then the stuff like that. Second comment we got, who's the idiot that spelled Keaton's name wrong? And Because I, I fucking put K-E-T-O-N. I forgot the fucking A. And, oh. so, <laughs> and so I was like, of course. And I almost freaking threw my phone because that video was like cursed. I yeah. swear, it kept crashing. <laughs> it kept breaking. All this crap. And then after all that, I finally get it up and I freaking spelled keaton's name right and there's our second oh, comment i'm no. like god damn it i hate well, typos 
you well, know, what I love it's... is that this year was this week is Tim's and my five year anniversary of, of when we we Lovely. we our first episode popped up on iTunes on September oh, uh, 9th of 2015. That was our that was when our first episode dropped, and I loved that about uh, about two months into us doing the show. Tim started doing the thing where people don't realize this. Like when we sign off at the end, we do that. Dave discovered this. Oh, we do dude, that. I, and I've listened to yourself, but I never listened to the very end. And then like when they told me this, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I guess I Every episode since episode one, we do a <laughs> blow up bit at the end because we used to be called the Suicide Squad cast. So we would literally blow someone up. Mm -hmm. For 275 episodes, we have blown someone up at the end of every episode because Tim put together this head exploding effect. But about two months into it, sometimes, it's not every time, but if you listen, after the explosion, if we fucked up during the episode... He because he edits and produces, and our episode sounds nice and clean. But he'll take our yeah. screw up and he'll play it at the end of the episode. <laughs> and lately, the best thing is listening to us screw up the opening script that we've been saying for five years. You would think after five years we'd know how to introduce our show. No, no, no. no. no we still can't introduce our own show correctly after five years. <laughs> no, no. It's it, you know, yeah. Go ahead. You know, I think most legendary mess up that we've had was with the justice con actually do you oh, guys no. remember that trailer um the one that was done like as diana clicking up all that stuff and yes yeah. yes i remember that trailer. and afsp was asfp yes and i do remember it, that yes I remember, we completely Ouch. didn't notice when soham sent it to us and we were just like because i guess we were just so excited about it because it looked so good and we knew he he's gonna do this and we were so i mean we were texting you guys we were so excited about it yeah and so we put it out there he was sleeping because obviously he's on australian time so he was not even around to fix it as fast uh. as possible and we put it out there we share it everywhere and then <laughs> steven comes in <laughs> steven was like oh it's so hate to be wrong. that guy and i'm like jesus <laughs> normally that's my job tim hates my guts because like he'll wait because he'll stay up like late on a sunday night he'll post the episode he'll have the show notes and i'll be like uh, I'll text him like the next morning. Uh, Tim, um, that word is like <laughs> misspelled and like that herb's in like the wrong tense. And he's like, fuck you. You want to do the show I'm like, no, but you could do them right. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, I, I remember this one and I remember how we were like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Because what's the worst about this is that you can't really update the video once you've uploaded it. Nope. We ended up, we ended up putting it as unlisted and putting the new one out. So there's technically two of them up now, but the one with the mistake is unlisted. You could still uh -huh. find it, but it's yeah. unlisted. And that's so Matt, if I go look at your Keaton video, will I still will I still see a K a K E T O N? Yep, 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 <laughs> yep. It'll say that, and and I think I might have also fucked up on something else. I don't know. I haven't gone back to look at it, but I saw a comment of uh, I was trying to say Mandarin. I was making fun of. Uh, Iron Man 3 Mandarin. I don't know why in the Wonder Woman 84 thing, <laughs> but but I was talking about that. I may have accidentally said Mandalorian instead yeah. of Mandarin. Oh, yeah. that's, that's a big thing, too. And when you want, like, especially when you're, you know, doing live streaming, yeah, you'll mess up like that. If certain things sound the same, yeah, you'll fuck up. I saw the comment, but I don't know if they're just joking or it actually I did say that or not. I have no idea. I haven't gone back and listened to it because I hate that fucking video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a thing, too. Yeah, I can't watch any of the Justice Con anything. I, I don't think it. I've rewatched any of the Justice nope. Con stuff, and I have not listened to any single of the Amazons episode. No, yeah, I can't. I cringe too hard. No, uh, I, I understand that. Yeah, I can get that. I, I will admit that I have watched our Real in Motion oh. roundtable a couple. Well, of yeah, times. I mean, I'm just obviously. saying. I'm just kind of hard not to. I know. Well, you know, it's... my mom. My mom loved. Like when that happened, my mom was like, "Oh my god, look what I'm watching!" I'm like, "Again?" They're like, "It's so cool." Like, no, thanks, I, mom. I, I, 
I like secretly. I'm not sure if you can see me. I like secretly took a photo of you know, did you? Of, of my <laughs> I did the same thing. I did the same thing. I wanted yeah. to like. I text like the guys on the network to go, guys, look what I'm doing. They're like, f you, no, no way. I texted to my dad. Yeah. Like I did the same thing. I was halfway like... through Sunday <laughs> afternoon. My dad texted me back going, "Oh, I just got it. Okay." <laughs> and I'm just like. Oh my god! He's like, no, I sent the. I, my dad was like, I saw the picture, I didn't know what I was looking at, and then about like halfway through Sunday, he was like, maybe I should zoom in and actually like read the names, and he was like, oh, that's why you sent me this. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I love you, Dad. You're great. I sent that. I, I did the same thing you did, Scott. I took a picture of the screen and shit, and was sending it to certain people. Sent it to my girlfriend who was out in the living room. I'm like, check out who's on the podcast, and I just got the emoji, thumbs up. Like oh, that was it. <laughs> you know, I like, still remember. It. She's so tired of hearing about this shit. <laughs> She's, so, <laughs> She's so done. She actually remember. made that joke. Like somebody, she was talking to somebody that she was trying to meet friends or something. And they're like, oh, we really like the MC uh, Marvel movies. We like really like superhero movies in the Marvel movies. She's like, I know an unnecessary amount about Zack Snyder's Justice League. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my wife, my uh, life Amanda. Obsession. Amanda made the uh, Amanda Colbert made this joke, and my wife has like latched on to it. She because my wife now permanently refers to herself as a Snyder Cut widow <laughs> because, <laughs> because Amanda came up with that joke, and I told my wife that and she was like, "There it is, bingo! There it is." Because yeah. my wife also knows a ridiculous amount about Zack Snyder's Justice League, and when someone <laughs> asks her a question, she just goes. Just don't don't say anything in front of Scott. Just, just, <laughs> just, just unless you have thirty minutes, uh, yeah. <laughs> or an just hour. maybe more, or maybe more, <laughs> thirty minutes minimum. Just 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 don't just don't do that. Right. <laughs> you know what? I remember when we had the beer zoom with Zach. Um, uh -huh. that we posted screenshots oh, of. That that was a lot of fun. But anyway, it was funny <laughs> because. Uh, after we asked him if we can post it, first thing that we did, Cole and I, was that we sent a um, screenshot into Amazons and we were like, guys, say hello. <laughs> and it took them good five messages to figure out <laughs> that Zach was in there. And they did it only because Meg basically in caps lock shouted on the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> It, it was so funny because like first five messages like oh hi hello say hi for us and then there's Mike oh my god that's Zach I'm like what the fuck that's crazy <laughs> oh man that's yeah. the beauty about this whole fandom though is yeah. that it's just we get to experience this as a community yeah. what other fandom gets to to do this and. And and what other fandom would would lead us to like just reach out and like find these people? Right. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. We, I cold. will buy one for my wife. I will do make it. Widow shirts. So is that is that the is that the next thing to the people campaign? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thing to the people. We all have to buy it for our for our significant others that just have. <laughs> had to deal with us for the last three years <laughs> i'll just uh oh, wear shit. it myself yeah. that's yeah, why i, I don't have say, any i'll just wear it by myself <laughs> no no that's actually a good shirt i actually like that i like that you guys yeah maybe uh get somebody to design something about that i think that's actually a pretty good idea for a shirt to be honest Oh my yeah. god! Shout out! I got. I got. I want to shout out to Amanda at some point to go. Amanda, you're gonna be a shirt. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what? Man, you know what? Like I've seen two DC fandom like you know commercials in the last like hour. I'm just saying it just keeps on like on the TV. Oh, is it on TV? Really? By yeah. On TV? Yeah, TNT for during the playoffs. I mean, they're re-showing the game. Playoffs, playoffs of what? <laughs> Ba basketball yeah oh so, okay i don't like NBA. that <laughs> yeah. no but like i've seen it like twice now where there's been dc fandom uh commercials and it showed like it showed wonder woman Zack snyder it showed different things and i don't know that's interesting so just saying this is gonna be, I, I mean i know that tomorrow i know we, we kind of talked about it earlier yeah. and this is the dave dome stream but you know <laughs> there's there's stuff like we said there's stuff i'm gonna watch but because i can just get to it whenever it's gonna be way laid back it's gonna be way laid back you know 
Well, which is good because I mean, let's face it back. I mean, that was a, that was a long day. That was mm -hmm. a, definitely a long day. And, and like, you had to be like there and in front of, you You know, you had to watch, 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 you know, if you wanted to catch everything, but you know, yeah, tomorrow. It was a long night. night. It yeah. Was. yeah. Well, and people, and I think people also, and I hate to be a dick. I'm being a pragmatist here. People need to like tap down their expectations. This yes. is like, yeah. this is just, there, there, there are not going to be any surprises. There's not going to be any announcements. This is, there's a reason that this is the stuff that gets shoved to the day, the second day, a month later. That mm -hmm. was, that was not unintentional. That's like, right, Jeff Johns. I mean, what? Sorry. <laughs> um. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just saying that you know, people are like, oh, we're gonna get announcements. No, this is, this is like the special features on a. And some of it is literally special features on a DVD. So it's just like, just, just chill the chill out. Yeah. Like we like, have to chill out because like, I've gotten questions like that too. I mean, all through like, you know, the week and do you think that like, anything is going to be, I'm like, no, it's just going to be, you know, it'd be awesome if there's some kind of surprises, but at the same time, I'm just kind of going like, you know what? I mean, look at what we got that first time around. I and mean, we, we literally started out with wonder woman and a wonder woman trailer. Then mm -hmm. we got a bunch of cool stuff in between a lot of cool stuff to watch and interesting things. And then all of a sudden Zack Snyder was there and we had all, we had the, pretty much the entire cast, including Patty Jenkins, which was just nice to see mm -hmm. join in and like give a nice message. And then we saw the Snyder cut trailer, even though it leaked. Yes. And it, that was kind of shitty. I don't know how that happened, but I mean, but it's still at the same time, it was cool. And then all of a sudden it was like more cool stuff, more cool stuff. And then all of a sudden it just ends with that Batman trailer. That Batman oh trailer. Oh my God. Oh, so I mean, good. it's just like, I it, was it, so skeptical about it, about the Batman. And like, literally I was skeptical. Cole was like, I don't like it. And then we yeah. watched it and we're like, okay, you got our attention. I mean, it, then there was <laughs> Matt Reeves, Matt Reeves essentially just went like, oh, you thought Nolan did something kind of fucking hold a couple <laughs> hold of my money. beer. No, it was a couple of beers. I thought, yeah. You know, yeah. like, I mean, I mean, I mean, I just remember, I mean, and I, and it sucks because, um, uh, I didn't do like initial reaction. Cause I was like, I'm going to do a live stream of it. When I watched it, I was like, oh shit, I should have reacted to this like yeah. live. But I just, you know, but it, at the same time, it's just, I mean, it's amazing just to see, like, I mean, I've gone down that rabbit hole of just watching reaction videos for both, of course, the Snyder Cut and that. But I mean, just watching that and when, when he beats the shit out of that one guy, I mean, everybody just goes like, what the, oh my God, you know, it's just, and then he my, says, I'm vengeance. And it's like, that, that guy is fuck? fine. He's yeah, fine. Yeah, he's, he's, fine. That guy, he's, <laughs> okay. he's don't worry. He's fine. My favorite tweet is the one that goes, you know, go, who the hell? Who the hell are you, Batman? S triangle, 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 square, 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 <laughs> triangle, triangle, triangle. <laughs> like, yes, yes. I understand. Totally. I, I understood that, that reference. I understood that reference. Yes. I understood that reference. I know. Yeah, I, I, I'm excited to see. I mean, and, and the fact that it's only 25 to 30 percent done. God, that Matt Reeves did you know, shoot that? all the cool so shit. Crazy. Did you? Just... I know. Apparently, he just shot all the fucking cool. Shit. I mean, I, I can't even imagine what. Like, what's the? What, I mean, was that just the first act? I mean, like, I mean, what was that? I mean, I, I mean, my God. I mean, I can't even imagine what else they're going to be shooting and what. I mean, I mean, even like Colin Farrell. No, a lot of people didn't even see that. I, was hey, I thought no, it was Richard yeah. Kind. I'm yeah. sorry, I did. Matt, what were you about to say? Oh no, I was just like we did a little joke thing at the end of ours where I did the, uh, where he's just beating the shit out of him. And then I played the Simpsons thing where Homer's beating the shit out of the little guy with the burgers and the kid's just yelling, stop, stop. He's already stop. dead. Stop. Yeah, that was, that was the thing that we did. And the ours was that one. It was funny too. Cause we got a comment saying, man, I have, Screw Pattison, Batman. You see how many punches it took him for to get that guy down? Because oh he's like, a, oh, and I was like, God, technically no. he knocked him out in like the first one, but he was holding him up. <laughs> right. No, he like, after like three punches, the guy was done, but he kept going. Yeah, he, mm -hmm. he was breaking. He was like bending his arm and holding him up and punching uh, him. Like, God damn. And, that was and you know, the funny thing is, and I'm going to make another geek reference, but it just reminds me, there's a scene at the beginning of Ender's Game that's basically the same concept of you beat the complete and utter shit out of one guy. Mm -hmm. It's like, you don't want to win the battle. You want the win. You want to win the war. If yeah. I can beat this one guy to a bloody pulp, nobody else is going to fuck with me. Well, yeah. look at what. Look at how the rest rules. of the gang looked. The rest of the gang were like, "What the fuck?" And then you see that shot where he rises up, 
<laughs> and it's just like, oh, and then it goes right into the title with the fucking music, like, Dun! and it's like, oh my god. I mean, huh, I, I, again, like I always say, I want to just like time travel back to 2011 mm -hmm. when I was watching the first Twilight movie <laughs> and going, hey, guess what? You're gonna be, you're gonna man crush this guy because he's gonna be fucking Batman. What? <laughs> no, this sparkly fucking asshole who like literally like when he was in the classroom and the fucking fan like blew the scent. Oh, and he's all like, he went like this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what the you know fuck? what, my my coworker was actually I was I was texting with her. So like, did you see the new Batman trailer? And she goes, Well, did he sparkle in it though? And I said, No. And she goes, He w she he will. Yeah, oh, and I'm like, oh, okay, you, you know, hope so. And she goes, I'm not watching it if he doesn't sparkle. I'm like, oh, okay, then. What, what, whatever, whatever. I'm just, I mean, I, I will admit that I was there opening night for the first Twilight movie because exactly, I, <laughs> exactly. I, I, I was because my my wife, we were dating at the time, and I was a good boyfriend. I I knew I knew what my I knew what my responsibilities were. Yeah. Yeah. Look, every woman had that face, okay? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. No, no, no. And my wife was Team Jacob, by the way. So it was. Oh, uh, so she was waiting. Yeah, that was uh, at the time, but probably like good on her now. But like, at the time, <laughs> oh. Team Edward every day. For oh my god! So yeah, I, I I have I've actually shown the collection of. I actually own all the Twilight books. I'm I don't. I, I don't. Hey, I hear the books Scott, are good. I hear the books Scott, are good. The movies I are terrible. You so hard, St yeah. Scott. No, 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 no. The books, I'm sure. You know what? Have, no, yeah. the books are shit too. But the, to oh. be quite fair, <laughs> to, I to read be them quite like fair, a week. it's the I, I but it's it. it's yeah. the kind of it's the kind of like shit that you keep coming back to anyway. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> It's, but it's, it's a cheeseburger read. You just to you be know, quite honest, you know what you're getting when you read them. The, the time that I caught on Twilight books was um, we were there's me and my two friends at the dorm because uh, I was at the like high school, but I was living out of time. I was a dormitory, and we did a thing where we bought them all in English and we read them to each other out loud. So for me, while the Twilight story itself you know, you kind of evolve from, oh, this is awesome to you. Um, <laughs> Never had that. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I mean, right now, when I think about the fact that he's watching her sleep, I am very much you. But anyway, um, <laughs> uh, the fact was that we read it to each other in English. So for me, it was like the start into, hey, you know, I should learn this language. So mm -hmm. it was like the first book that I read in English properly. Mm. which yeah. is kind of, you know, which was kind of important at the time. Then mm -hmm. I read Harry Potter. Uh, I read the whole seven books in five days. Wow. Plus about, yeah, it was what? funny because, I, well, I read really fast. A disclaimer, I read really, really fast. <laughs> um, because we had, when you do, an, when you graduate high school in Czech, you have to do these exams where you kind of like, you have to pass certain amount of exams from four to like seven. It depends what you're doing and stuff. So I had to pass five big exams. And when you're graduating from Czech language, which everybody has to, you do the exam in three stages. You have to write an essay, then you have to do a grammar test. And the last thing that you do is you go in front of this commission, which is basically your teacher and an assistant teacher. And then there is commission of other people from other schools. And you pull out like a number from like a bag and it tells you what book are you going to be talking about. And we had list of like 600 books out of which we had to pick 20 to 30 books. Depends what level we were doing. So I had 30 books. And here I am. I have a month to cram all these exams in because it wasn't just Czech. I had to graduate from English and other stuff as well. And... I had only five out of 30 books read. So <laughs> I read an entire Harry Potter series in English within a week, plus 10 Czech books. Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That is insane. Now, yes. 
And then I'm going to bring it and I'm going to bring the uh, conversation back to a really <laughs> we went from Twilight and I'm going to try to, to inject a little more testosterone back into this conversation. <laughs> I've also taken this trailer and tried to break it down with my dad because we're trying to figure out what the fuck that Batmobile is. Oh, I know that, that my, Batmobile. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. My dad's such a gearhead that we're just like, we're like looking at the body. Like my dad's like, I don't have a good enough shot. I need a better, <laughs> I need a better shot to figure out. Cause my dad's the one that any car that shows up in the movie, in a movie, my dad's like, um, that's a bloody blah, blah, blah with a V something, something engine. And, uh, you know, it came out in like this year and like you can imagine seeing Ford versus Ferrari with my dad. Oh, yeah, with like, uh, <laughs> you probably love that movie. Oh, oh, my dad. Oh, like I, I would lean over to my dad and just go, "What's that?" <laughs> <laughs> like well, son. Yeah. Well, and no, no. And my dad would die. That's it. And I'm like, okay, cool. Okay. It's like it's like. Going to see a car movie with my dad is like having the x-ray feature from Amazon Prime, like, like, like just constantly like in your ear. I'm just like, sure, cool, whatever. Thanks, dad. Appreciate it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, man. I know that that Batmobile, that's going to be interesting. You know what? I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I think I did a, I did a video recently when I'm kind of like, oh well, yeah, it was about the two bat suits, possibly two bat suits in the Batman because like his initial one gets destroyed. So he has to make another one. And I'm just kind of wondering like, <laughs> like how much are we going to see of, I mean, obviously it's year two, so maybe we won't see too much, but I just wonder like, you know, if there, if there's going to be any flashbacking to them, you know, Alfred and Bruce creating all that stuff. Is there going to be a Lucius Fox presence? That's what I'm kind of really curious about. Is there a Lucius Fox that's going to be like, Either he's around or he's going to be around. I'm just like, I'm very curious about that aspect of it. You know, when it comes to creating the, the Batmobile and the gadgets. I'm actually hoping that they, from what Matt Reeves has said, I'm really hoping that we're getting a Bruce Wayne that did this all on all his own. Himself, yeah. Uh -huh. I, 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 I understand where Nolan was coming from and having Lucius Fox being like a Q yeah, but I really do like an interpretation of Bruce Wayne that his superpower is his intelligence and that he builds all this stuff on his own in his cave. And there, and, and, and I'm looking forward to possibly this iteration of the character doing that. And yeah. I, I, I don't know, I, I'm kind of like everyone else like i was kind of like okay another batman movie noir detective cool i'm excited like that that stuff excited me but when i saw that trailer i was like effing shut up and take my money i want <laughs> I this mean, movie right when you, now when you see him show up on the crime scene i'm like what the fuck we have not really seen i mean we kind of saw that in uh dark batman night Begins. no it was batman Be no yeah it was dark night because he took the bullet out of the wall but but at the same time, it was just kind of like, hey, get out of here, people, you know, you know, like get out of here. Batman's here. But this was like a bunch of like FBI agents and police officers there. And Gordon and Batman are literally walking into this scene. And I'm like, OK, we have not seen that yet. And I'm like, there, that's and, and, and then, of course, that scene where. He's in like the, the the police station or whatever in that cage, and he, some fucking cop pisses him off. I don't know if he's <laughs> handcuffed or whatever, and he just gets up and Gordon has to yeah puts sure. him up against the cage. I mean, Gordon pushing Batman up against the cage to like, hey, relax. You know, I am so intrigued by all of that. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, like I said, Matt Reeves just said, "Don't just hold my beer, hold my fucking keg." <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, do I mean, I am on, I am, uh, and this is not hyperbole. I am legit on best Batman movie watch. Yeah. Like, like I am on that watch of, I could possibly walk out of this movie saying, this is the best solo Batman. And I'm going to, and I'm going to put the caveat best solo Batman movie ever. And there's like, nothing wrong with that. There's nothing no. wrong with that. I hate it when people go like, no, no. Batfleck forever or Christian Bale's, the, you know, it's like, no, everybody, every, every iteration should be better than the last. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what all these 
uh, creative people shoot for, you know? And I'm sure like the previous Ben Affleck wants Robert Pattinson to be a better Batman. You know, they all, I mean, fucking Snyder brought it up on our thing. The fact that Snyder just was like, did you guys see that Matt Reeves Batman? It was like, <laughs> I texted Matt Reeves and I was like, holy shit. And it's like, that just shows you right there. It's like, okay, there's no war in between your little fanboy shit. You know, it's, it's, it, these, these filmmakers, these creative people, they want to see somebody else do it better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do it something different. Do it better, please. Okay. I had my time. I mean, of course we're still going to see, finally, we're going to see, you know, the bat real bat fleck. Yeah. The real bat. We're not going to see fucking smiling face, you know, something, <laughs> oh, something's definitely, something's bleeding. definitely broken. but you know, oh. I also like really appreciate you. Like you, you have to appreciate when they're trying to also do something different with the bat. Yeah. Like, the origin story is so well known. So when yeah. you have, I mean, obviously, Batfleck is a different Batman, and yeah. now you know Battinson's going to be different Batman, and it's it's like you even like going all the time to just the origin story is just not going to work forever. Like so, it's really nice to see when people take on like they do different takes and they do different stuff with the batman because there's so much to the character so I much to it so want the detective story that yes. that is what has sold me the whole time matt reeves has been talking is like he's like noir 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 detective yeah. detective detective and i'm like give it to me i want that give me a batman who is the world's greatest detective I mean, I want that so much. And everything about that trailer was like full on. Give mm -hmm. it, give just give it. Make a Riddler who actually has crap that I'm gonna have to try to like figure out while I'm watching the movie. Like these people who have the cryptography skills have already decoded <laughs> yeah. the, the greeting cards. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm like good on you like yeah. I, I i don't have that bandwidth but yeah. but give no, me I, but give me riddles that i can actually like spin the movie like processing in my head and i'm not talking like frank gorshin you know batman 66 riddles that make absolutely no sense whatsoever <laughs> no i'm not talking about that but but give me something where like as a batman fan i'm sitting here going you know, like what John Glover would give me on the animated series, where you could legit like figure those things out if you tried. It's like that's what I want. What you didn't like uh, Jim Carrey's, uh, you know, riddles going on, and uh, that ended up being mystery. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I will always point to that episode from the animated series. If you're so smart, why aren't you rich? I love that episode of the animated series. You know, I must say, like the Riddler episodes in the animated series were some of the best ones. I mean, I'm not gonna lie; like the way they handled the Riddler in the animated series was pretty, pretty, pretty fantastic. You know, when they were in the game at one point, and there's like there's so many different like uh, Riddler episodes where it's like they did a pretty phenomenal job. But then again, it's the animated series; they did a phenomenal job on all of them, mm -hmm. essentially. I mean, I would say Two Face was probably like one of the best two parts like the, that episode like where he became two face whoo i mean if you're gonna even but i even say like the, that about mr freeze the mr freeze episode i'm like just base a fucking movie off of that if you're gonna like gonna reference anything i mean mr freeze is like episode in batman the animated series phenomenal right there i mean base your you know base anything that if you're gonna do mr freeze on live action just base it off of that same with two face Oh, Maybe. and and the Clayface two-parter. Clayface, yes. Same with that too. I mean, my God, especially with an outlandish character like that. But, uh, anyways, guys, I mean, we're almost at three hours and a half here, man. Oh, Ooh, shit. man, a lot of. Uh, and we, I yeah, know, and we didn't even have like uh, Garza and Colbert here. Look at that. We could handle this whole thing ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> no, Matt, no, no. Matt got to talk. I was so happy. <laughs> I get to hear Matt talk. Yeah, uh, you're one. You're one person. I yeah, one. one. <laughs> you know what? One is all you need, Matt. You just oh, there need you go. one. <laughs> But we also we also love that shirt that you're holding that you're wearing too, the Martin oh, yeah. yeah yeah it's a great Martin's shirt. Good. I should have got I should get that. Uh, yeah. Yes, <laughs> it's a great shirt. But uh, no no, it's always a lot of fun. Obviously you know. But like I said, we missed uh, Stephen. Miss uh, we miss him on here, of course. I don't know. 
Uh, I don't know exactly why he couldn't join today, but hey, you know, he'll be here probably next week. But uh, anyways, guys, uh, go ahead and uh, let's go around the horn and promote ourselves. And uh, if we have any drinks, we can sip as we, of course, do our promotions as we're supposed to be doing. Mr. Scott McClellan, go ahead. Uh, of course, you can find me on Twitter at ScottDC27. You can, of course, also tune in to the DC Film Squadcast at squadcastmedia.com to listen to Tim and I talk about all of your DC film needs. And uh, hey, take a moment. You can now subscribe to us on YouTube at Squadcast Media and watch our first ever live stream live from the Watchtower discussing the Ray Fisher situation. Yeah. He's got that great voice, doesn't he, guys? Come on. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, all right, go ahead, Wonder Meg. Promote yourself. Uh, you can find me literally anywhere. Uh, Wonder <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, literally anywhere. <laughs> Except literally. for Twitter. <laughs> Except for Twitter, my at is yeah underscore girl Meg. But if you type in Wonder Meg, I'll pop up. <laughs> there it is. All right, Nana, go ahead. All right, so you're going to find me anywhere on the uh, at the Nerd Queens, um, especially on YouTube channel now. We have an anniversary episodes for the Snyder's Amazons, and we have one more thing coming up. Um, yeah. Look up next Tuesday. It's in cooperation with Meg over here, and we're going to bring some really awesome ladies on as well, hopefully. So check that out. Nice. All right, go ahead, Matt. I am at one half of the world famous comic movie marks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how is that that world famous? We got oh, right. We always get some broken language stuff on our stuff, so I'm sure they're fucking from somewhere. Oh man, I love the comics that we get. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, but yeah, part of that. Check us out. Our YouTube is comic movie marks. Oh god damn! How do you? Yeah, no wonder Everett always screws us up. There we go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's like being a weatherman. It's like being a weatherman. Yeah, comic movie marks YouTube. Twitter, Instagram, Tinder, all that stuff. Tinder, <laughs> Tinder. Quite right. Come on. Can you actually can you actually search someone on Tinder? Of course. We actually tried. We did try <laughs> to make a comic movie marks Tinder, but you can't. You they, you have to have like a profile pic and like all these details and stuff. Yeah, we were trying to do it, but it didn't work. But all you can try right. to find us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I appreciate everybody on the panel for joining and appreciate everybody in the live chat for joining. And uh, we must remember that, uh, you know, that's right. That guy is doing a lot of that. And uh, and also this. And also, I'm excited to watch the Snyder Cut because Justin sucks. Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys. All right. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you never right. seen that map. <laughs> no, been around for weeks. Oh man, I was there yeah, the first that. night. I was there yeah. for the debut. Yes, that's Ben Shapiro, who's like who he uh, he reviewed everything at DC Phantom, and that was his reaction was. And also, I'm excited to watch the Snyder Cut because Joss Whedon sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. A lot of people don't like that guy, but they like that comment. That's <laughs> All right, guys. That's Appreciate you clicking in. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs>